<sighs> okay. <laughs> Hello, everybody. Oh, Gareth, nice to see you. Your messages have been hidden. I don't know what they say, but I'm going to put full trust in you. Welcome, everybody. Thank you, Early Birds, for bearing with me. We had the classic YouTube description drama, but we seem to be okay. Throw a little culture in there for good measure. <laughs> Neat. <laughs> Thanks so much for joining me and for tuning in. It has been a while. It's been a hot minute. Um, I've just actually liked the stream myself. I was like number 17. If you'd like to throw your hat into the ring. Sorry, shameless plug. As I stir the last of my coffee, we shall begin. It's Welsh. Of course it's Welsh. Did I say something different? <laughs> I didn't mean to. Either way, we're good to go. I'm just missing one thing. Hold on. Okay. Let's do this. Oh, I'll swap us over to the game screen, put a little mark for the Vodders, and we will begin. Thanks for introducing me to that game the other day. Oh, yeah, no pleasure no, my worry. <laughs> no pleasure my worries. Oh, boy. He's not slipped enough. <laughs> my pleasure. I saw the tweet. It was really cool. Um, okay. Mark for the Vodders. Pow! Let's begin. Oh, we'll need the game screen first. And a little bit of Twitch chat wouldn't hurt. There we go. Neat. All right. Hello, everybody, and welcome to the world of old. This is Old World, and this is Early Access to the Hittites, a brand new secret stealthy sieve that they managed to keep under wraps coming in the Heroes of the Aegean DLC until today, uh, the day that the embargo lifted. I've been given early access to a press preview build. Uh, there are two chat boxes. <laughs> there you go. Um, I've been given early access to a preview build of this game. And I'm really grateful for it. So shout out to Mohawk Games. Thank you for giving me early access to the press preview build. One day early, we should probably play the Hittites, I think. I mean, it's... <laughs> I didn't bother polling for what you'd want to see me play. Uh, because I figured... I figured... You know what? It's probably the Hittites. So, without any further ado, uh, let's begin. Let's go single player and crank into a new game. And as you can see here, Hatusili. And here are the statistics. Old world fans, dive deep and dig in. If you didn't see my video earlier today, I have already showed these off in a little bit greater detail. So I might not dwell on these too long here. However, you could always choose to pause and take a look and study. Um, the sieves in this game are very unique. They start with a lot of unique things, including technologies. And of course, because this game's based in the old world, the tech tree works a little bit differently. We're not beelining to some sort of modern era, for example. So uh, this is essentially <laughs> this is essentially the Hittite loadout. You can see how it might compare to something similar. Um, number of things, quantity of things, two military units, four shrines, three technologies, and four families, plus a leader archetype. I think we should probably just jump straight in. While admiring this wonderful man. <laughs> yeah, humankind trauma is real. Um, in terms of setup, I think I'm just going to leave everything as default. My experience with Old World is as follows. Somewhat limited. Uh, I know the game technically. I have been researching and creating some beginner level, introductory, comparative content, so I'm pretty well across all of that. But I wouldn't say I'm an advanced old world player, so if you are, I would love to hear your tips and tricks as we go through as well. Try and hive mind a little bit of knowledge off you. Oh, kia ora, Trentius, Pete, Octopus, Gareth, Hoff, Forex Gamer, John. Somebody hold me down. That is fantastic. It is wonderful to see you. Uh, now that we've got the game up, let me return your voice. You shall have a voice. As soon as somebody types, I'll know which one is which. Um, and we'll begin. Okay, neat. It's the one down the bottom. That's probably okay. 
Right, so, Old World. Uh, I'll go through and describe a little bit about the basics of how it differs from other games, but I won't dwell on it too much because the stream is also about checking out the early access content. So I would be uh, remiss to not at least do that for us. Ah, <laughs> oh, and Tertius! The first super chat of the week? No. No, it's Thursday. Don't be daft. But of the stream, most certainly, thank you for two very generous Canadian dollars, Terentius. You are awesome, and everything you do is awesome. Um, please like the video if you enjoy. Shameless plugs aside, let's do this. So, in Old World, there are city sites, so you have to settle on these sites, but you have a little bit of freedom and flexibility, right? So here we can choose from these five tiles. Uh, I like to shift-click the improvements overlay because I'm a noob. Uh, and also another one that's really useful is the roads and rivers above it sometimes, although perhaps not so much here. And we have to choose which family we want to found it with. Effects of being on the capital, plus two, plus eight. These are our yields up the top. You'll see money, food, iron, stone, wood, orders. This is the unique mechanic to Old World, kind of a currency for measuring all of the activity that we do in a turn. Moving, promoting, deciding, that kind of thing. <laughs> How much is it going to cost on Steam? Uh, I would assume the same as Epic. £30, I believe. Not sure what your currency is. I tried to super chat first and I cannot at anybody. You're not banned. Gareth is here. <laughs> Alright. Um, so these families all have different yields. I'm unfamiliar, of course, on which one is actually going to be the best one yet, but I quite like getting early extra, um, early extra, sometimes I think science, other times I think civics, other times I think training, but these three are very key to our overall actions. So if we take the riders, we get training, new mounted units start with saddled. Uh, if we take the landowners, uh, rural specialists, crop resource, buy tiles, extra citizens. Okay, kind of a vibe. Here, we'll unlock some extra civics rate, which is nice. Hurry projects with money. And then finally, add multiple roads per year. I think I'll go for two training. Get a little bit militaristic up in here and choose our riders. It is the Hittite way, after all. It is the Hittite way. That will feel new, I imagine. Yeah, it does. Orders are brilliant. Orders are brilliant. Can't give Jumbo any of my pounds. <laughs> Aww. <laughs> I appreciate you trying, though, Gareth. You're a legend. Weird that they wouldn't let you, but that's okay. Um, Trapping and divination are two... Fairly powerful uh, early game technologies. Trapping will give us a slinger, and I think it, it often leads to a free settler. Uh, divination gives us a shrine, gives us our religion. This is all to do with the politics and the intrigue. I go for trapping for the settler. Okay, we start off with quite a merry band of dudes. Uh, these scroll guys are our scouts, so let's go grab this goodie hut. Hidden jewels. Neat. This is kind of the events-based Crusader King sort of feel to Old World. By the way, I've worked on a new review, an updated one, for this new version. It'll be coming out after the stream. Hopefully. Pop up to the whole, oh my god, I'm back, I miss you, Jumbo Poxel. Oh no! Lame. I don't know what lappy in it means either. <laughs> oh, that is so lame. I'm sorry. That's happened to some people before, actually. It was a card. It was a card issue or something. YouTube was like, your card can't be used or something like that. Uh, I can't remember who it was or quite how they fixed it. Oh, actually, no. Sorry, I tell a lie. I think they just went to Twitch. Yeah, sorry. I don't think there, there may not be a fix to that. Once YouTube gets it in their mind, they're like, nah, you're out. Um... <laughs> They've done it to one of my cards as well, actually. I can't use one of my cards. My membership to my own channel declined. Because YouTube was like, nah, you, you're, you're not using this card anymore. <laughs> Sorry. Uh, we'll harvest this fur because it's outside of our city borders. Ooh, there's a goodie hut. Let's go to that one. 
uh, a sacred tomb so we could leave it alone and our character because we by the way live every turn is one year in old world and we're immortal we're a mortal leader we age we gain attributes uh, all this kind of thing you can see i'm a judge i have plus two charisma and discipline adding crucially 40 bucks and a little bit to our civics rate so i could choose to become gracious I could destroy it for some legitimacy bound to our, our victory, our overall prestige, our ambitions. We need to play this month. Unfair, some people get to play it and I don't. Sorry about that. Um, let us study their... Uh, although you can play it on Epic Games. Um, let us study their preservation rituals of 50 science. Yes. Neat. Uh, loads of fur around here. So maybe the trapping people would have been better. <laughs> it's all right hopefully we'll find another city site out this way we don't have any orders left though so you'll note that i haven't moved any of my units but i've ran out of orders because i moved the other ones too far so unfortunately not really much else i can do without forcing them to march which i'm not interested in doing let's bring ourselves into the world found our capital it's already done and here's the hidden jewels event from earlier um i'll trade 100 training for 420 bucks i think 18, 2, 2 to 1. Yes, that's a good deal. And then we end the year or the turn. Old World's version of turns. <laughs> Press like if you were gangster. I was the first like, homie. You were not. Were you? Maybe. You'll be able to get it tomorrow on Steam. Yeah, yeah. So uh, it released on Epic Games about a year ago, Old World. Uh, but it's releasing on Steam tomorrow. At, I think you're right with that time. But if you go onto Steam, it will tell you when it's unlocking as well for your local time zone. Uh, I'm not sure what it is in EST. <laughs> okay, workers. I'd See, I didn't even move my freaking worker for crying out loud. Ridiculous. Um, <laughs> we should start improving some tiles. So within our city border, we've got furs and game. Uh, requires trapping, requires trapping, requires trapping. So we're going to need trapping before we can improve any of these. That's okay. Uh, we can also improve some basic tiles. Probably not with the Hanging Gardens of Babylon. But as we walk around, see, I can build farms and mines. And then as I mouse over these, you get this really wonderful overlay to see ex what exactly the yield will be, depending on where I want to build these farms. Uh, likewise with the mines. You can see, not, not a very good mineable, really not a very good mineable place here. We're going to be very short on uh, both stone and probably iron as well. Yikes. But you know what? Not the end of the world. And first things first, we need some food. So let's pop over here and build a farm alongside this river. Neat. All right. Worker is working. Let's get our one warrior promoted. The promotions of this game are just brilliant. Um, guard for 10% defense. Not bad. Tribal units, melee units, plus 10% versus melee units. I think I'll just take guard. And then we could also add a general. We could add ourselves. <laughs> Maybe Kushai might be able to help. Brilliant, Samurai. Thank you. Plans to unlock in nine hours. There we go. So it unlocks on Steam in nine hours. Neat. Did somebody say nine hour stream? <laughs> Maybe not. <laughs> okay, so uh, we'll assign a general immune to critical hits. Unit cannot die. Ooh. So that's kind of like an extra life. Neat. Let's make this oligarch in charge. Next turn. Cannot be promoted this turn because we've... Uh, cannot be added because I've already promoted. And we'll also need to go and look for an extra city site. I see something glowing over by Dem Hills. Oh, it's just some wheat. But I can name the hills. And what a fantastic mechanic to name after super chats and stuff. <laughs> the torrential range. <laughs> Thank you for your super chat again, Torrentius. There we go. And named after you forever. Uh, I didn't pillage the wheat. I was too excited renaming that. But that's okay. Here's our next city site. And it's probably a pretty good one because it's next to some mountains. It's a longer river. We've got wheat, hopefully something else. <laughs> but we've got wheat, so that's good. Uh, and none of these units really need to move. Although if I found some barbarians, I might start marching my um, 
my warrior towards them, but for the time being. Ooh. Pillage those horses next turn too. <laughs> 50 bucks. <laughs> so the cool thing in Old World is that you can pillage luxuries uh, outside of your territory. Um, so you start the game with a, a few scouts, quite a few scouts, to be fair. We'll use one of my orders to move here. We found a lake. Neat. Oh, but we didn't find it first. Ah. <laughs> okay, another city site down here. Very good. Uh, this work is working. Hopefully if we head this way, we can look at these mountains. Surely are looking to be named. But first, I'll harvest the horses. It'll use one of my orders. I'm currently earning 13. We need a bit more legitimacy. We definitely need more legitimacy. But let's harvest these horses for 50 bucks in one order. And then, oh my god, another city site. Holy cow. Oh, it's the Torrential Range. <laughs> it continues. Let's harvest these goats. Neat. <laughs> uh, okay. Uh, so we can claim city sites by keeping a unit on them. A military unit would probably be the best idea. So I could either move to this one, this one, or this one first. This one's near some barbarians. Maybe we go fight the barbs. Let's add a general to this army. Neat. Oh, Ben! Thank you, Ben! That is awesome! Ben Opie! With a five freaking dollar super chat says spiritually, this is from Gareth. Oh my God, and I'm back and I miss you, Jumbo Poxel. <laughs> Sounds like he needs a city today. That is so kind of you, Ben, super chatting on behalf of Gareth. <laughs> Shout out to you too, Gareth. And Mika with a one dollar devilish super sticker as well. Looks like I'm going to need to find some more mountain ranges or cities. Uh, indeed. <laughs> okay. Well, Ben would like a city named after Gareth, so we'll call this, we'll call this, uh... <laughs> I wish I knew more Welsh. I wish I knew more Welsh. We'll call it, uh, Gareth, Andri Gareth Andria, something kind of old worldy. Alexandria, Rome, <laughs> Gareth Andria, doesn't quite, G Gareth Andria, yeah, why not? Gareth Andria. <laughs> Neat. <laughs> we'll also build this council improvement. This will add extra civics and extra training. Very powerful. I'm kind of tempted to spend a couple of years doing it, but I'll build a settler as well. We'll kind of try to balance that out. Um, we'll kind of try... What? Gareth! <laughs> oh my god. My randomizer isn't working. My ra my voice randomizer isn't working. I'm stuck. <laughs> no. <laughs> Thank you, Gareth, for a 20 freaking pound super chat. Taking no prisoners. Gareth says, hello, Jimbo Poxel. Hope you are well, my favorite Kiwi. Sorry I've been absent, but work. Ugh. I still watch and love your vids. Can't wait for BG3. <laughs> Gareth, thank you. You're amazing. You're both amazing. All right. So you've got a city. Probably looking for some mountain ranges for Mika, Ben, and probably you too, Gareth. You've got two. Ben, you're going to get one as well because you were generous on behalf of someone. So we've got Mika, Gareth, and Ben on the ode list. Neat. I've got cities ready to site though. Yeah, I, I know what you mean, Hoff. I know what you mean. I do wonder if the game would benefit from just having open city placement. But then maybe it messes with a whole load of other things. Like I, But I have thought about that too. I wonder if there's a layer of complexity that is kind of like beyond me or that I haven't considered. But yeah, it is unusual to not have flexibility. Um, okay. Didn't get my free settler. Kind of disappointing. <laughs> oh, De Krieger Konig, thank you for using your Twitch Prime subscription two months in a row. Watch the VODs because I work when you stream. God damn work. We need to get people, including me and you and everyone else, out of our crappy day jobs and, <laughs> and do more things like this all the time. I wish. <laughs> There's a mod for building cities anywhere? Oh, man, there is a mod for everything. How good. I should try that, actually. That would be very fun. Thank you for letting me know, Mana. Actually, really, thank you for letting me know. That intrigues me. 
It was for to, for to, for to facilitate more balance. Yeah, yeah. Kind of unknown things that it could mess with or tamper with, right? Um, easier to control. It does make sense. I, I understand it. Maybe also the Civ clone? Yeah, yeah, but yeah, could have been designed in from the start. Yeah. Or it could be to do with the, uh, like, like, it makes sense in the scenarios because it's old world. But there we go. Did you three multiplayer win? Oh my god, he did. Uh, okay, sorry. I want four, I probably want quarries, actually. So, rather than most of this other, this other stuff, although the spoked wheel is nice, let's get stone cutting. Uh, so that we can actually start to harvest some stone, because without stone we're shined out of luck. Odin and Umbreon, thank you both for following. Umbreon, one of my favorite Pokemon of all time as well. Easily top 10. Uh, <laughs> anyway, Pokemon chat aside, we need 200 training to promote this unit again, so we won't do that. What we will do is march out and try and fight some barbs. Uh, and also try and secure a second city. Let's wander down this way, harvest these horses. Okay, we've got more barbs down here. I'm gonna try and sneak some marble. <laughs> Yoink! And then run away. And we've met our neighbor without a U. <sighs> Americans. <laughs> uh, uh, anyway, we've met our neighbors. Humble. It's the Egyptians. God damn. Why do I always get put next to the Egyptians? Um, I think in general, and this is good general life advice, by the way, uh, we have two ears and one mouth, and in general, we should use them in that proportion. And so, I will speak little of my own people and ask, uh, uh, many questions. The idea that that's kind of counter to my advice. My advice is listen more than you talk, like listen first, talk later. And I think that speaking little of ourselves and asking more questions aligns well with that. However... The Hittite way would to be prideful and boast about our strength. So let's do that instead. <laughs> I'm humble and great. Not. <laughs> Songs of Conquest. Yeah, Chaos. So cool as well. So cool. I've been expanding my video game library recently. And I've been really enjoying it. It's neat. Um... Okay, I'm gonna, I guess just keep exploring with the scout. However, I only have three orders left, so mm, Warriors used all of its action points. Units also have fatigue. We could force it to march, but it's a terrible waste of our stuff. So I think we'll just skip through. That's fine, that's fine. Uh, and, ooh, a marriage proposal has arrived for my daughter. Okay, voters, let me know in the chat. Type a one for bachelor number one, or a two for bachelor number two, and like the video on the way out. <laughs> uh, no, but seriously. Uh, bachelor number one for our daughter, a 27-year-old male. They're both from the same family. This one, ooh, hello you. What have you got going on? Two wisdom and two discipline. So money and science. As a general, immune to quitty, uh, critical hits. And right, three wis- <laughs> For goodness sake! Three wisdom, one charisma, two discipline. Cautious. Bachelor number two uh, has a higher opinion of me. They are a warrior with minus one wisdom, but a lot of courage. <laughs> uh, okay, so- so the difference here is basically, the guy at the bottom is a courageous warrior. The guy at the top is more of a, a, a economic man, more of a thinker. Who do we want to marry our daughter to? Any early votes? I see a vote for number one. Vote for number three? <laughs> oh no, I see a few votes for number two. All right, number two, Auden, Hoff. Looks like number two won. Okay, we're doing it. Num bachelor number two. It's the stupid warrior. It's the stupid warrior with his minus one wisdom. Neat. <laughs> okay, great. You shall marry my daughter. Uh, and meanwhile, I might also try and influence my, my queen. Because at the moment, my queen, she's 46. Maybe I should focus on my grandson instead. Uh, nah, let's bring her on board. She's got a minus 90 opinion, so <laughs> this is not good. She's a schemer and I'm a judge. We should watch her and her family is excluded from my succession tree. Neat. Uh, look, by the way, 
a quick glimpse into some of the beauty of Old World, if you haven't seen it before, can be found in these menus up in the top left. Really cool. <laughs> um, my ambitions screen. Don't have a lot of ambitions at the moment, but we will. Here's our succession line. So she's removed from it. <laughs> oh, right. Okay. So me, son, daughter, grandson. Neat. From the, wrong, from the wrong family. Foreign marriage to Egypt. Yikes. Right, okay. Um, let's send the warrior in for a little bit of early combat training. When we can. I've only got one order left, so I'll just bounce through. Marriage offer. We'll take you. Uh, oh, I think I... Sorry. We'll take you. There we go. And I guess I'll just go century, 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 and six to force the turn to end. Strange that the hotkey is six, but I'll allow it. Uh, Prince Vasili is now old enough to be tutored by courtiers. Brilliant. And connections versus wealth. For a long time, the family where we founded our capital have expected to marry one of theirs to one of my sons. But more recently, a rich merchant, merchant has offered money. Hmm. Hmm. Let's get their opinion, get their orders, and say, sorry. <laughs> sorry to the equestrian. Okay, my son, who are you and what do you do? You're cautious and you have no real personality to you whatsoever. Neat. I shall mold you into something beautiful. <laughs> we'll have to choose how we want to educate our son. Uh, in the meantime... Let's probably try and fix this minus one, minus two. Uh, where have we got? Quarry potential, not great. Mine potential, also not great. We could try and save that for city number two if we wanted to. We're producing um, a settler very soon. It would mean that city number two would likely have to be one of these two. Let's give this one a cheeky explore. Oh my god, it's a landmark. It's a landmark. What is it? Lake of Ben things. Lake <laughs> Get owned. The lake. That's named after you, Ben Ombi. <laughs> also, it will threaten our foe. Uh, here we'll harvest seven off that. Neat. And let's keep having a look this way. Okay, there's some lavender. Okay. We'll send this explorer around this city-state as well. Maybe stop off for a quick drink of some wine. <laughs> a man after my own heart. Good one. Uh-oh. It's a haughty emissary. Okay, so this is like... Uh, uh, these tribes are kind of like the city-states in Old World, basically. Yeah, we got a shout-out from the man, the myth, the legend, Potato McWhiskey. How good, right? <laughs> so cool. Uh, it was really awesome and totally by surprise. I got a couple of messages about it. It happened overnight for me, time-wise. Oh, and kia ora, Scott, Rich and Friendship Sugar. Also not dead and back. You and Gareth seem to appear and disappear at the same time. Are you the same person? You better freaking not be. <laughs> okay, um, I think we'll befriend them. We don't have the courage to take this option. Or we could declare war and get some legitimacy. Let's declare war and get some legitimacy. <laughs> I've changed my mind. We need it. We really need it. Not my succession, but we, we do. We'll also start to get our ambition online soon. I'm just wondering if anything else here needs our attention. The tech tree doesn't so much. Um, I'll probably just leave that as it is. Scout scouting. This looks like a... Yeah, we found a lagoon, but for whatever reason, I can't name this one. Neat. <laughs> okay, as soon as we're at war with these guys, maybe we march toward them instead. This city site will probably be the one that I take, so that seems like a good idea. And do we want our son to be wise, charismatic, tactical, commercial, or become a, just a, an explorer, a nomad? Uh, I think we'll make him wise, because we have a lot of uh, tactical people, 
Not a lot in the old science department. <laughs> okay, so I've influenced my queen. She now has a minus 50 opinion of me. Neat. And my daughter and this oligarch have given birth to a daughter. Oh my god, I have a granddaughter and she looks fantastic. <laughs> and here is my son, the 11-year-old philosophy student. Shaved at the front, long at the back again. I like it a lot. <laughs> I like it a lot. Uh, can we woo him over? No, it, he needs to be 12 years old before we can do that. Okay, that makes sense. Use a lot of orders to march through here. Should probably scout it out with our scout first. <laughs> Ooh, hello, honey. <laughs> yes. Okay, cool. Um, probably also try and harvest this lavender over here, seeing as I'm not going to settle this anytime soon. I'll just bounce around and absolutely fill up my basket. I'll come out smelling like the gypsy shop on the corner. And the shoemaker. Ah, my son. Witty, humble, righteous, and bold, or plus one discipline. Let's go for the personality upgrade. He became bold. Oh, cool. Okay, so now he's got plus two courage. Oh my god, we're creating the perfect child. <laughs> my grandson, sorry. I mean, it's, it's unusual because I'm like 50 and he's like 11, so there you go. Miss you all bloody so much. Oh, all good. All good. <laughs> you you are fantastic, Scotty. Yeah, well, Soren Johnson, one of the developers, was a, a, a lead role in Civ 4 and a very active role in Civ more broadly. Uh, Layla also has quite a big role in the space uh, as well. So there's a lot of experience behind Old World. Um, my opinions on it have changed a lot over the last year. And like I say, I've actually got my review ready to go, which is awesome. Um, so just a tribute is an act of respect. Agree to relations. But mention the might of our armies. Or we charge a fee to them to establish an embassy. Um, I think we'll... Agree to relations, but mention the might of our armies. Yes, our one army. I realize... <laughs> okay, I just want to clear out some of this fog by the Eastern Anatolian Montane Steppe. Yeah, I'm cultured. Um, <laughs> and then force this settler just using all of my orders over onto the city site. We, we could march and get it down this turn. I don't think it's worthwhile, though, actually. I think we'll just wait till next turn for that city. And our worker can now start to improve at least the game. Maybe the fur as well. No, but we can improve the game. So let's do that. We'll grab a camp. It will get, what, plus 20% for adjacent lumber mills. Okay, so maybe we start to... Maybe we start to lumber mill around here in that case. Either way, we get plus two green faces and plus 10 apples. So let's do it. <laughs> and these guys were at war with. You can see that the combat works okay in my favor, but I am being hit a little bit by these barbs. So I might just use some orders to pop back into these trees and then use my 200 points to promote myself to... I really like Besieger. It's very powerful for fighting cities, but arguably not that useful here. Maybe I go steadfast for power against tribal units. Eh, Barbs? Oh, and Gareth, another $5 super check. Sorry, I missed you. Woo! <laughs> Gareth, you're too kind. Gareth says, have you tried? Have you tried Jammy Red Rue Australian wine? It's my favorite. Uh, I'm genuinely not sure if you're taking the... King Mick out of Australia, or if that's a real brand. <laughs> but if it is, I would love to. <laughs> Someone put a picture of it in the Discord, please. Uh, and Scott, look at you go. Nine months. Oh my God, you know what that means. Wedding bells are ringing. <laughs> Scotty says, I gotta run. But I'm hoping that I'll be able to stay in a stream longer soon. New job is good, but busy. Love ya. Love you too, Straya. Love you too. Oh my f***ing God. 
the love on the stream today. You guys have to be careful. My head's going to grow so large, I'm not going to fit out the door on the way out from streaming today. <laughs> when I run for a bathroom break, <laughs> my ego is going to stop me. No, but seriously, holy f Thank you, Scott, for another... Oh, 31 bloody Australian dollar super chat. Scott says also have some bloody sugar. <laughs> Scott, you are full of sugar and you are wonderful and you are kind. Thank you so much for being a part of the channel. Seriously, can you believe it's been nine months? A lot of you are in that nine month camp. Man, crazy. gonna post a little uh a little thank you there in the chat as well okay now i've got some people to name stuff after too don't i scott <laughs> jamie red rue and pics of discord now thank you <laughs> you came here when i, I got cool <laughs> I, I don't think i've ever been cool uh maybe once when i was like 15 i reckon yeah, I reckon 15. Yeah, the channel popped when Humankind launched. It was one of those big kind of exposure times. Uh, kind of like, uh, actually, surprisingly, when Dune Spice Wars came out as well. It was a big exposure time. It's really cool to see so many new pe people get hustled in. And it's it's weird because it's literally, not to babble on too much, but it is literally just like people click on something more and that leads to YouTube showing it to a ludicrous number of extra people. Like unique viewers likes all of those metrics it's hard to pin down exactly why they matter but they do so thanks if thanks for doing those too by the way um because they do matter i just can't tell you exactly how okay back on the capital we could start training another settler if we wanted to i feel like a second worker would be a good idea but also a slinger i also want a little bit more counsel for some extra orders so i might do a council and then a Oh, worker or a... S I think I will grab one slinger. Yep. Seems like a good idea to have a ranged unit. No. Uh, and let's see. Yes, we found something. It's a golf. All right. This shall be... <laughs> Scott. Thank you, Scoot. <laughs> I love... I just love this about Old World. It's the Scott, uh, this should probably be one word. It's a long word. In the ancient tongue. Scott bloody Stryer is how you say it. Uh, if you're not from New Zealand or Australia. <laughs> it's the Scott bloody Stryer golf. Uh, and a CD messenger, the Vandals. Again, another neutral tribe. We could let it go to maintain a truce. We could get six legitimacy and declare war. A strange man from an unknown tribe shuffles into my court. He suggests that unless we're able to demonstrate my munificence, the vandals will take everything from me. Get out. That is not the Hittite way. <laughs> Get out. <laughs> okay, so now we're also at war with them. Tribal relations, not so hot. Uh, what is going to be hot, though, is founding this city. These barbarians are coming to take another stab at me. They've got a ranged move. Surely we romp stomp them. Yeah, we, we can deal a lot of damage if I want to move up and fight them. I probably should, otherwise they'll just keep chasing me down. So let's step out of the trees. Uh, and you can see on the left-hand side here a little breakdown of the damage of the multipliers. It's pretty good. Yeah! <laughs> so that'll be a two-hit KO, and then we'll have to come back and heal. Um, you're doing the camp. Let's get city number two online. The question is, where exactly? Uh, thankfully, one of the other very unique mechanics of Old World is hidden down here. Undo last move. Press control plus Z. So what I could do is like settle it and then be like, oh, actually, I prefer to settle it here. Uh, in the meantime, though, I do want to be one, two, three within wine and probably three within that. So likely a settle this way for the wine makes a lot of sense i think so pro probably this tile is the best one. Oh my goodness mohawk games have entered the chat Kilda! hey thank you so much for um for the the slight early access i really appreciate it um 
Hooded, and Hooded Horse as well, by the way. I only have good good things to say about my interactions with them too. Um, welcome in. Thank you so much. Um, oh, man. I'm tickled. I am tickled pink. Okay. Uh, <laughs> let's move probably still to plot out this land. Here we have the Egyptians. Um, our friendly but not amazingly friendly neighbor. We've also just gained the attribute the Explorer. Neat. Plus 30 legitimacy. Wicked. <laughs> See? The benefits of sending your scouts out far and wide to, wide to also stop off and maybe grab a grab some orange juice? Why not? Uh, I might reverse that if I need to free up some orders though. Uh, anyway, like I was saying, I think we will move this way. Do I want to force the march? No. We'll just wait till next turn. That's fine. Sentry. And look, good news, fantastic, and a surprise piece of news. We've received an update on our beautiful grandson with the best hairdo of all time. Academy scholars respect him. Other students compete to befriend him. Oh my god. He's a Chad. Go you! Uh, okay, encourage him into scholarship for extra wisdom, already a little wise, or it's healthy for him to seek friends. Right. No! <laughs> Back to the books with you! <laughs> there will be no socializing. There will be no friends. Only learning and war. <laughs> uh, was things a really good early game strat. Yeah, I figure we just run around and harvest and pillage as much as we can. <laughs> When is it arriving on Steam? Uh, I'm told around nine hours time, Brian. Nine hours time. Wicked and exciting. Uh, and I'll have my updated review because a lot has changed. Uh, and I need to issue some corrections. So I've got an updated review coming out as well uh, to hopefully coincide with that release. Um, right. What's going on here? A self-made woman. Who is this woman? A female aged 22 approaches my son looking to wed. All families will lose opinion. Right. Refuse the marriage outright. My son will be disappointed. Or... We could do this one. Because I'm regal. And it looks like this is only good things. So let's do that. Okay, neat. Right. Over here, we're going to place down a city. Uh, we've already got a city with the riders. So I'm tempted to pull in another family here to add to the dynamics. Uh, so we can get multiple roads per year. Hamlets, which kind of work kind of like outposts a, a little bit, like little towns, sort of. Um, 20 gold per year. Bouillon resource unlocks the caravan merchants. Right. Then we have plus two, plus two on specialists. Discontent. And then we have these landowners with the crop resources who ideally uh, I probably would have settled by capital on. I don't see... Um, I, we'll probably end up with, I would say... You, the patrons, and then when I played it earlier, I went with the traders as well. But it is actually quite tempting to take this seat early on. Plus two by tiles, rural specialist production time. We could produce them and move them elsewhere to our other place. Sure. Let's get the landowners. Only game I have downloaded on my epic launch. <laughs> yes, uh, uh, one of the very few on mine too. <laughs> <laughs> yep, one of the very few on mine. In fact, I'm pretty sure I actually, I'd completely lost access to everything Epic before Old World released. Um, so there you go. <laughs> I'll let you read into that what you will. However, actually, I'm not trying to throw shade at Epic. They're a, 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 like actually a very good service. Um, and competition is usually a good thing. So can't hurt to have competition against Steam is one way to look at it. The other way to look at it is that... An inferior product and service. Uh, <laughs> I, 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 I dance between them both. Uh, only because of the first mover advantage, perhaps, that Steam has. Let's take down this barbarian. Show off our superior Hittite might. Yep. <laughs> That'll teach you. And harvest all of this as well. Like I say, and like Ben says, we'll just bounce through and harvest as we go. Okay, they've got second city set up but so do i maybe the early slinger 
potentially a bad move, but I'd like to fight these tribes seen as we're at war with them. Um, and hopefully we can hook up some ambitions to be broadly aligned with that too. Let's get our second city building a settler. It's actually reasonably good at doing that. We'll give it a council improvement first, then we'll go for a settler. Um, and then the only thing that I feel a little bit short on are workers. Hmm. Getting the hurry council. Uh, the hurry worker could be a reasonable idea. Uh, we could chop trees for wood, but don't super need it and don't really need the money from it. So I'm not going to do that. Uh, having a look at the map. I see probably a city site up here. Oh god, it's more of these guys. <laughs> Neat. Ooh, the Great Migration. Broken vessels and strange markings indicate that these ruins were once occupied by a tribe from beyond the sea. Sea people. Wow. 3 a.m. Eastern time tomorrow. Steam release. Check it. Stability. <laughs> uh, who still needs a name? Mika. Yes. Okay, so we could commission some scouts and send them in every direction. We'd get two scouts and start an ambition to find these people. Or we could get 75. Two scouts... The question is, do I have the orders to maintain an extra two scouts? I don't know if I do. I don't know if I do. I'm just going to take the science. It's like five years worth of science. I'll be an old... I'll, I'll be nearly in my 60s. <laughs> yeah, I'm going to take the science boost. Ooh, okay. This uh, this would be quite an aggressive settle against Egypt, but fish, pearls, barley, right next to them. It'll make for a fun game, I think. <laughs> uh, let's get shrine unlocked. We've got a nice boost towards that, so we'll be able to get both religion and trapping. So we've got slingers, we've got settlers on the on the go. Now we've got divination, so we'll be able to become religious and do all of the neat things with that. At Jumbo Pixel. Hey, look, there's an app for you. <laughs> yeah, Ben, I agree. I agree. It doesn't take the CK3 politicsing quite to the level of Crusader Kings 3, but um, in a way, it does make it more manageable and bite sized. Also, leave a like for the stream if you like. Yeah, thanks, Trentius. Should we try and do a like wave? Watch the viewers jump up. Everybody who's watching right now, you don't need to dislike, but if you unlike the YouTube stream and then re-like it again on the count of three, you'll see viewers surge. I, I promise. Ready? <laughs> it's stupid, I know. But the spiffing Brett uh, figured it out the other day, and it does seem to work. Three, two, one. On the drums! The pun drums. Boom. And thank you to everybody who has liked the video, though. That means more than anything else. Okay, my son, a philosophy student. Uh, we don't deny the gods of anyone or the gods from any place, as this tutor emphasizes a great number of divinities revered by the people. We could become pious. We should strive to never offend any of the gods. Or we could respect the faith of each people, of each of our people. For their strength is our strength. So we can become gracious. Or I think I think we should be I think we should be pious here. Yep. I think we should be pious. Plus one charisma. And crucially plus one trading, yes. <laughs> Neat. Okay, the walk. Uh, wind passes through the streets of Garethandria. Uh, getting away from the place has an invigorating effect. Naturally, like most cities. <laughs> like, yeah, look at that surge. Boom. Up to nearly 50. I was wondering, actually, how many viewers would tune into Old World today. How many likes we would get. So quite interesting. You're just trolling me now. <laughs> I have Discord closed because I don't have enough RAM to keep it open and stream. Oh, well, I can open it. It just puts, makes stuff a bit risky. Um, build a network of roads and rivers for trade and travel. Starts the ambition. Control three connected cities. I already have two. That would be fairly easy. Uh, first priority must be clearing out tribes. I'm also kind of working on that. Iron can be tough to find. Produce 400 iron. At the moment I'm in the negative. Or I could become an explorer. Uh, seems as I've already got... Seems as I'm already two out of three. 
I think I'll start this ambition. Control three connected cities. Now that we go up to ambitions, you can see on completing it, I'll get 10 legitimacy. Neat. Neat. That'll really help our orders along. You can see at the moment I have plus 5.8, feeding into the orders rate, which is 16.7 a turn. Not good enough, <laughs> frankly. Um, is this game within range of the city? No. Could bring it within range. But actually the lumber mills kind of excite me as well. What do I need for that? Forestry. Okay, so we should keep an eye out for the forestry technology. Um, I should try and plug these minuses while I can. You know, actually, let's wander up here and have a look at the yields this way. Yeah, it, it shouldn't take too long. It'll only take a turn. We'll bounce up and have a look. Maybe come back down. Uh, this unit will want to heal in friendly territory, so we should also probably uh, try and hustle it back this way. <laughs> Cut down these trees on the way past for good measure. No. This scout is reaching a dead end. We did find Propontis, which has given me a little bit of legitimacy, but... Yeah, we've kind of bumping up against our Egyptian neighbors here. Neat. Okay, I'll scuttle my way back out and grab this. A strange scroll sealed within a musty tomb. Ugh. Ugh. <laughs> Did I have a new system? Like a new up-to-date one? Um. Uh, well, yeah, it's, uh, oh, it's probably like a year old now, maybe. Um... Most of the stuff in it is new, but, you know, it, it doesn't have, like, unlimited... Like, I, I was still confined to a budget, so I still had to make sacrifices between uh, RAM allocation, graphics card, power, processor, uh, monitors, microphones, audio interfaces. <laughs> All of the wonderful things that go on behind the scene. What game is this? Old World! Old World. Uh, and it, it, it's very cool. I'm going to have some uh, extra videos on it over the next few days now that it's releasing on Steam. Uh, especially, I think, it will be um, available to the general market. Whereas before it was an Epic Games exclusive, so a little more tucked away. Uh, we could destroy the scroll to get two legitimacy. We could get a new courtier, a scholar, or I could become exotic. I'm going to become exotic, even though I'm kind of old. Um, I like that. <laughs> I just like that. Let's head toward these mountains these mountains and down here as well i am after all <laughs> hard to see the explorer right literally what i'm known for uh and my son and his wife who i married even though people didn't think it was a good idea have given birth to a son neat uh, and we've also met Assyria, attacked by a bear, an overturned wagon. So I could lose four orders to escort the survivors to the nearest settlement. We could provide them with a guide and send our people on, or we could leave them alone. I'm going to help them. Let's help the Assyrians. Neat. <laughs> uh, and now I could get 200 extra stone, or we could work towards some actual um, technological developments. None of these ones are super hot. I do like this for our culture, right? Drama, kind of good. Walls. Uh, the hamlets can help us grow into villages, expand money, uh, declare war, and walls could be useful. And then we have forum epics, plus 10 for all units killed, law, or no extra unit conscription when outside of, uh, consumption when outside of borders. I actually quite like that, but I'm going to be a polis. We'll leave the two years for the extra stone, although it was tempting because I'm pretty negative. Actual piece expert. Yeah, I could share those, totally. I don't have them on hand, but I, I'm more than happy to. <gasps> Please use my Epic Games creator code. <laughs> It's a nice roster of games too, by the way, Pete. I support. Okay, this city does have the sour gum within range. Also has the wine within range. Uh, but it's probably, hopefully, some of its quarryable, mineable tiles that I'm more interested in. Let's have a look. So, uh, well, a farm here is actually quite good. 
get a lot of unique yield from it. Mines, we can still just get the plus five, although the plus eight on some of this terrain. Quarry, we're looking at a plus 12 tucked up against those mountains. That'll be the move next turn. Totally and utterly. All right, let's get you back to Garethville. Heal. And Mika, I believe you are the final super chatter who I haven't caught up on. It's Mika Amazing. <laughs> Our amazing new stone city. Named in your honor. <laughs> Thank you for supporting the stream. And again, an uh, extra double special shout out to, to Ben and Gareth and Scott. And also over on Twitch to Krieger Konig. <gasps> Actually doing 60 plus sleep ins. Yeah, that's the trouble, right? When you overwork, then you have to oversleep and it just gets worse and worse and worse. Okay, Gareth, I'll check the Discord. If the stream crashes, everybody, you have to blame Gareth. <laughs> <laughs> oh wow <laughs> it's got slightly different packaging but the brand Yup. 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 I've had it. It's like in the stores. Of course it is. It's Australian. It makes sense. <laughs> oh, that is so funny. Oh, Australian and New Zealand wine. Making us proud. Good stuff. Um, <laughs> that's so cool. I love that. All right. This unit is looking for a heal. It can do so next turn. Our scout probably wants to keep scouting. Is there anybody who has action points that should be used earlier no i don't think so so let's hustle you this way uh these barbarians are probably going to take a swing at you but maybe if you do the dance of death along hello archer i don't like that <laughs> oh yes a mountain uh scott you did two things so uh i guess over to you <laughs> hmm Scott's Peak. <laughs> Neat. Oh, and you found an event over the other side of Scott's Peak as well. Uh, I just see the Explorer gains plus one courage. Or we could leave it alone. 150 bucks for plus one courage. You bet your backside. I'm going to level myself up like there's no tomorrow. <laughs> I'm also dumb and bad at video games. I don't think you are, though, Hoff. <laughs> Gotta be said. Okay. See, did you see the... Did you see what happened when everybody unliked and liked the video? Refreshing the stream does the same thing. It's so funny. Shout out again to the spiffing Brit for figuring it out. But you will have noticed viewers surged up from like 40 to s nearly 70. <laughs> it's nuts. Ah, oh, kia ora, white and nerdy. Yeah, man. Absolute old world hype. Uh, Steam release in, I say tomorrow. It's actually today for me, the 19th of May. Um, nine hours ET, 3 a.m. ET. Mohawk Games, let us know. And others. Um... Okay, we found a strange scroll. We could continue studying it because I'm so close. Or we could say enough is enough and throw it out. We'll continue studying it. And our neighbors, the Egyptians, have sent a diplomat. We can either keep the peace for 150 bucks, politely decline their formal peace, or now is not the time, but perhaps later. Um... I think that peace is the path of the wise. Let's get the Egyptians on our side. Doesn't hurt to have at least one friend <laughs> in this nasty old world. <laughs> it's, high, so, uh, it's a mixed bag. <laughs> but yes, yeah, the future the future does look bright, and it's been an, an impressive um, it's been an impressive year of development as well, and a somewhat uh, unreported on and maybe unknown year of development. 
while Old World has been an Epic Games exclusive too. I, I would I would wager as well. I know what you mean, Hoff. Yeah, yeah. Doing insane difficulty is pretty hardcore, but I do agree. It is nice to have just a, a really ridiculously hard mode. Uh, so, athletic tradition, archery, ranged unit experience, new infantry unit experience, or mounted unit experience. I think because we're the Hittites, we should probably go for mounted unit experience. Uh, and then our son, oh dear, what has he done? He's disregarded his studies and is now known for his flagrant romantic escapades. Go you dirty dog. Uh, anyway, I don't condone this behavior. Uh, the Academy tutors are growing frustrated, leaving you in a rather delicate situation. Okay. Debauched, exotic, or infamous. Reprimand him for his behavior. Or just reimburse the Academy for their troubles. <laughs> Let him be extravagant. A, a wanton, wanton, or eloquent. Eloquent. Elegant. <laughs> uh... Let's just let's just pay off the academy and, and let our son be a be a pest. Okay, reimburse the academy. He's extravagant now. As a governor, minus twenty percent cash. As a leader, minus ten percent money on cities. Plus f minus four. Oh man. Okay, th that was a bit of a debuff. Ah, <laughs> uh, we should have punished him. Uh, okay. Cave in. Our laborers attempt to reopen the collapse. Emerald mines have failed. Yikes. Everything's gone really poorly this year. <laughs> it's not a great year in the history of the Empire. I was losing money constantly, so I quit. <laughs> Mood. <laughs> um, I'm becoming insane. Ah, uh, yes, it does all make sense now. <laughs> Okay. Minus two science. Plus two, though. Plus two command. Uh, and minus two on our money. So we're taking big hits. We should have thrown that scro that stupid scroll away when we had the chance. <laughs> Crap. My grandson's gone extravagant and I've gone insane. Neat. I could become an explorer. <laughs> But let's trade some food for some money. That works great for me because I'm, you know, I mean, look at my yields. Okay, move here and establish a Wamper of a Quarry for plus 12. Neat. Uh, and then the only thing that we'll be shy on after that is iron. And then we'll be able to focus on maybe building up more improvements in villages and that kind of thing. Attacked by a beer. It is rough market. It's incredibly rough markets. Houses in New Zealand have gone, have just become unattainable. I think in the last two years, house prices have risen uh, in some regions around 50%. The average price for a home here is around, uh, depending on which regions you include and don't and how you're looking at it, of course, it varies a bit. But the, the average house price in New Zealand is uh, nearly a million dollars. And we're not talking great houses. We're talking, ex, you know, like, very average cold homes. Ah, oh, Bike ATX, thank you for using your Twitch Prime subscription. Your subscriber number 32. <laughs> Although that number varies uh, when gifted ones fall away. So you might actually be higher up in the pecking order than that. A few weeks ago, you could have been 80. Now you're 32nd. I reckon you're top 20. All right, anyway, next unit, um, Warrior... Let's heal. Now we're fully healed. We could also maybe save up for another promotion. I'd quite like to do that. Um, and then let's keep exploring. We need to try and get a feel for what we're dealing with here. I won't force that march. Try and use up our orders on people we haven't ordered. Harvest a little bit of wine. Grab a drink as we go. <laughs> and now I'm the intrepid. Yes. Plus 50 legitimacy. Nice. Ancient carvings have been discovered in a ruin near Dra River. Hmm. If we follow their practices, the family will encourage us to resurrect the practice. Okay. So we could adopt the laws of our ancestors and get a free law, seniority. 
which would replace our current succession. And I actually really like the fact that our grandson is taking over. So I might not mess with our succession. That would put a different prince in charge. Where's my family tree? I do kind of like... Er I do kind of like this guy. <laughs> um, married to a six-year-old. <sighs> oh, no, sorry. Not married. That's your bloody daughter. Uh, oh, <laughs> that's your sister. Although, wouldn't put it past you. Um, I think we'll leave succession laws the way they are because we have crafted a little bit of a narrative here. So, oh, we've got refugees as well. The Scythians have contacted us. Go to war with them. Go to war with them. Hold a truce with them. I'll become strict. Now, back to those before us. Let's just take plus three legitimacy because I ain't changing my laws for no man. <laughs> Sorry. Oh, and we've found a landmark. Bike. It shall be named after you. Getting in on the ground floor. <laughs> it's the Gulf of Bike. The Gulf of Big Bikes. Big ATX Bikes. <laughs> there you go. <laughs> Neat. I've already harvested these horses. These sheep look kind of tasty, though. <laughs> Yoink. Also, this game over here. We'll grab that next turn. As we just kind of bounce around with our scouts looking for things to do. Um, as soon as my workers hook that up, I kind of want to bring them back. We're a little short on workers. Oh, my God, no. He's compl Oh, no, it's okay. He's completed his study of philosophy, apparently. Uh, knowing everything there is to know about philosophy. Sure. Uh, what role suits him best? No longer a philosophy student, but using his philosophical prowse, nounce, would we like him to become a judge after his grandfather? Can serve as governor or chancellor? Or do we want him to be a builder? Minus one year to build improvements. Ooh, minus 50% switch laws cost. Can hurry specialists with money? Can add urban tiles. Multiple workers can build improvements. And a minus 50% production time to workers. Uh, you know what? I was a judge. You're going to be a builder. <laughs> My grandson, the builder. Neat. Let's put him in... Ooh, actually. Maybe. Let's put him in... This place. Here. Chuck in, chuck in a governor. Oh, no. We can't. Okay, maybe back to the capital then. I don't mind. If we can chuck him in the capital, we'll chuck him in the capital. Yep. You there. Govern the capital. Neat. <laughs> okay, good. This will buff our yields. We should have had a governor in here a little while ago. But um, now that he's a builder governor, I think that's extra special fantastic. We probably do need an extra builder online. Uh, although maybe the fourth settler first. Let's go fourth settler first. Get the slinger, get the fourth settler. We should be good. Military unit is ready to go and fight again. So <laughs> who wants to be my target? Uh, maybe these barbs. Oh, probably not you. I'll just fortify next door. <laughs> the scout obviously offers no threat. That was a waste of an order. I could... Rewind it. Thank you, old world. And march him this way instead. The beauty of the undo button. It allows for some great exploration. And it's a really handy crutch in a game that is rather complex. Harvest the ore. Thank you. <laughs> oh, some salt. That's on brand. <laughs> Builder, the building turns are important. True. Perhaps more, maybe more important than early cities. I lean towards early cities because early cities feels better than early builders. But Ben, you've got me thinking. Damn you, Ben. Damn you and your logic. <laughs> Uh, okay, this is a dead end, but there's a little bit of barley up there, so... Uh, every cloud has a silver lining. Harvest game. Uh, probably no need to cut down these trees. But you know what? Just for fun, I'll do it. 
<laughs> Deforesting. It's the humankind way, after all. Matchmaker, our war has gone on long enough with the tribe. Report that one of the warlords seeks mate for their daughters. Ooh. Okay. So, it's time to vote again. You know how it works. If you'd like bachelorette number one, type a one in the chat. And if you'd like bachelorette number two, type a two. I feel like HK or Civ 6 should have an undo button. Uh, actually, Pete, yes, I do. I think at least on the lowest level difficulty, it makes sense. Yep. At least on the lowest level difficulty. All right. Bachelorette number one is an orator. Plus six charisma, minus one discipline. Not so good with money, but incredibly charismatic. As governor, they can hurry projects. And then, bachelorette number two, one year younger and a year matters a lot in the old world, maybe. Uh, plus two. Oh, yes. Look at this. We're currently getting 72 training rate. We'll receive an additional two command to that, plus, through courage, and plus two discipline as well. So it, loads of extra money. As a general, same unit adjacent gets bloodthirsty as a general, plus 10% if damaged. Or we could throw them all out. Option number three, of course, is to throw them to the curb. Uh, Odin, Doc. Hey, Doc. Yardim, two, two, two. Hashtag not my sister daughter. <laughs> yep. Okay, number two, far and away, and I completely agree with you. If, if, if you'd chosen number one, we would have had to have some serious words. Um, we'll take number two, Meda. Welcome in, Meda. You have much to offer us. Minus one legitimacy because we're marrying a tribe. But we'll get peace. Welcome into the family. <laughs> Can't beat him. Join him. And looks like there could be some barb conflict going on down here that I could maybe snipe. Ah, oh, no. It looks like we're going to be a turn too late. I'll fortify up just in case because it's, it's a bit of a hot conflict zone. And here's our slinger, which only costs 50 points to upgrade so let's give our slinger hmm, plus four hp from heal action leads to healer plus 10 versus infantry let's do that let's get a fierce slinger yeah baby uh and this looks like we're kind of right up against scott's peak uh at the top of the map but i do see some more stuff that i can raid and pillage so let's just dance my way past the scythians thank you Cross over this river as well. Cool. Grab this bar. Too far from a friendly city. Oh no, we're too far away. Okay, that's fine. Does add some incentive to try and maybe finding a, a, a spot by Scott's Peak here, mayhap? Mm. I think I like the slightly aggressive don't at me settle towards our Egyptian neighbors first though. And we've got a settler online in three years. So let's do this. Scouting out this land. Could be a little bit of value. I see some gold in these hills. And some camels. Oh, I love it. Oh, I love it. They are so cool. They are so cool. <laughs> in fact, I'd go as far as to say they're awesome. My son and the hero have given birth to a son. Neat. We're breeding like flies. An enchanting conversation. Let's see where the night takes us. A ruler needs his rest. Eh, let's see where the night takes us. I'm a man for a late night. Why not? <laughs> okay, you little slinger. You've got... The next promotion is quite expensive, but I think we'll add a general first. Uh, let's see. Oligarch. We've got the hero to heal in neutral territory. That's actually... I found that really, really useful. Uh, immune to critical hits, maybe. Unit can't die plus 4 HP from heal, so we just get stronger heals. Or I put me at the helm of the slinger. <laughs> no. I think we'll go for the... Plus 20% attack strength and heal in neutral territory. Hunty the hero, my daughter-in-law. Get in there. Nice. Really nice, actually. Oh, and a new river. Uh, do I have names? No. Uh, okay, let's do... Who's done the most? Let me see. I think it's you, Gareth. 
I think it's you. Aramdus River? <laughs> More like... <laughs> Garathdus River. <laughs> eh, it's vague. I'll give it a drum pun, but it's it, it's it barely barely qualifies. Like that's like scraping the bottom of the barrel. Uh, and I'll harvest these horses as well because who doesn't like a good horse sandwich? Oh, I might also take these sheep. Uh, right, yep. Too far away. Oh well, we'll keep plotting up this land because there might be space for a friendly city around here somewhere. It is Sheepville, Tennessee. Good God. I'll harvest these camels too. <laughs> yes. Uh, and honey, barley, honey, barley, honey. I'll move to the honey. Yom. And actually, and then we'll just sweep through and grab the rest of this honey. There's honey. That's a combination of barley and honey. Assyria are at war with the, with the Scythians. That's okay. Scythians, a neutral tribe. Assyria, one of my neighbors. We'll have to keep an eye on them. Uh, and the queen is likely to fly into rage if she does not get her own way. Han. Should I divorce, divorce her? <laughs> no. Oh my god, my, my grandson just loves me. That is fantastic. <laughs> this guy. What a guy. I wish I had more actions. Oh my god, I can rename him. Oh, this opens up a whole new world. <laughs> uh, who would be next? Probably Ben, I would say. Oh my god. Prince Ben Ownby the Bold? <laughs> yes! Oh, this game just gets better and better. I want to, um, uh, I want to be more familiar with Old World. Okay. Pigs. Don't mind if I do. Honey. Nothing goes better with pork. And ore. To really get those nice metallic fillings in my teeth after eating honey and pork sandwiches. It's a loose dialogue, but I'll allow it. Um, workers, workers, workers. I am worried about workers. I was hoping we'd luck into a free one. We have yet to do that. Settler's about to be on the way, though. And you've finished your quarry? Yes. Neat. Okay. Slinger. Probably due maybe one more promotion. So let's bounce out this way. Grab a... Hmm. Hmm. <laughs> Focus. Ignore distance modifier. Herbalist or Highlander. Critical hits deal double damage. Chance to land a critical hit is improved with promotions. So we can get plus 10% crit hit chance. So 1 in 10 attacks deal double damage. And it leads to uh, a 15% chance. Which, uh, quick maths, is just shy of a 1 in 7, I believe. 7, 15 is 105. Um, uh, I don't really care about the vision. The heal is nice. Uh, maybe I t maybe I take advantage of the plus 25 from a hill. I'm not so great with those promotions, personally, because I tend to forget them. Uh, that's a personal character flaw. Okay, yeah, no, they've taken that, that sight. That's all right. Um, because we'll take this one instead. So let's actually bring our army down this way and try and hold this fishy place uh, rather than fight anyone right now. And we've got a tribal peace offer. Minus one legitimacy. We got six when we declared war. Oh, but we'd lose a lot of science to them. Nah, it's a bad deal. I'll, f I'll fight them instead quite handedly. <laughs> quite handedly. Oh, we are at 60 likes on the YouTube scream. Scream? Thank you, YouTubers, for screaming. No to the undo button. I reckon on the very basic level of difficulty, it makes sense to have an undo button in these turn-based games. I really do. At the very least, at a at the at the beginner's level. Um, I like the fact that in Old World they have it right the way through. Because of course it's entirely up to you if you want to use it. <laughs> you don't have to touch it. Um, we could even have it off by default in, in something like Civ. Um We could have him owe me a favor if we want to send him six hundred bucks. Or not give any aid. 
You know what? I'm going to buy us a favor. I have no idea what that does. But I've just produced this settler and I have a very big idea about where we're going to put them. Um, we haven't actually found a new city site up this way though. And I'm hoping that we will. We found Greece. Let's maintain our initial truce with them. Holy cow. Did somebody say... G resources? Damn it. Is there a city site here anywhere? Ah, oh, God, I would love to settle up there. Maybe we make that a next time thing. We could fight the Scythians. We could fight this tribe. Those would be my options. I think I'll make it a next one thing. Seen as... Oh, yeah, no, no, because we've got our military unit down here. So let's pop down and grab this one next to the Australians. <laughs> Who are the Egyptians? Um, and move through. Ah, oh, thanks for all the tweets and stuff, everybody. Um, I'm getting loads of Twitter notifications, which is highly unorthodox. Okay, so the only other thing that I'm missing is iron. Ironically. Also should probably start to build some shrines. Yeah, work workers are an issue. Ten money per year per adjacent resource. Nice. Uh, <laughs> double down on our training. This shrine will give me... Ooh, per adjacent grove. That is difficult. And then this one. New ranged units have plus one level. It'll spread paganism, Hittite paganism opinion. They'll all do that though. I think I like this one for the adjacent resource buff. Question is, should I get a quarry online first? The answer is a, a probable yes. Let me do that. Just secure my basics. And speaking of secure my basics, I'm going to stomp over here and fortify on this city site. So no man will take it from me. Uh, and then I guess with this explorer, we'll just keep harvesting stuff and exploring. New production here. Time to get some workers. So let's start producing more so that we can start to get some tiles improved. You're a prince, Ben. Most regal. Congratulations. <laughs> anybody wants to be named after my... Oh, I was just about to say anybody wants to be named after my wife, they can. But unfortunately, the intelligent spoiled queen... I don't know how... I don't know how well she's doing. Judaism has been founded in Egypt. Ooh, we are behind on the religious game. We won't bow to their faith. We're going to hold ground, uh, lose opinion with them. <laughs> Sorry. Because I want to take the uh, city down here. And maybe actually move through and fight these barbs. Yeah. That'd be a good use of our military as well. Why not? I'll pass through that turn with a few orders left over. How many are we at now? Order base rate plus 18.9. Not bad. My grandson's still in fear. Ben own be the bold. Gained plus one courage. Don't fear fear, Ben. Embrace it. Ooh. And here I could use the tech tree to get an extra worker. I might do that. I might convert some science into an additional worker because that'll have us... Uh, that'll have us pretty well covered for workers. We'll have three workers, three cities. It's maybe strong enough of a balance. Maybe. <laughs> I don't know. It's questionable at best. <laughs> okay. This guy can almost get down here. We could push the rush through order to settle the city next turn. But where do I want to place it? Let's see. So you can see the city sort of organically stretches out to grab things. Placing it here will connect the barley and pearls. Placing it here will connect fish and pearls. Ah, uh, fish, barley, that, that, they're broadly the same. But, um... I'm going to force march. 
Maybe we get our third family down. Maybe, though. <laughs> Cities are always connected. New mounted units start with Saddleborn, plus two per year. Double down into the same family. Generally, it's a good idea to split them up, I think. Um, so I'll probably split them. But man, it is tempting. It's a shame we don't have any that particularly benefit from the sea as the Hittites, <laughs> obviously. Uh, but some do. Some do have some very powerful seafaring sieves. Uh, and you can probably piece together historians in the crowd which ones they are. Hmm. Plus four legitimacy. Max families will be maxed out. I think I will take the hurry projects with money. Welcome in! A new courtier. Neat. I will influence. I will influence this 25-year-old minister. Don't worry, it's totally legit. Uh, and then we'll go probably one turn on the council. Hmm. Professional army. Walls. Slingers. Warriors. Workers, we're going to have three. Maybe that means the new settler. Although this city isn't a great spot for additional settlers. So I'm just going to queue up a few councils in a row and then come back to it and decide uh, once we figure it out. That being said, the new worker here would really not go amiss. So we'll also try and bring one of those down. A uh, little bit of conflict going on here. Kind of nitpicky. I'm going to heal. And then <laughs> ideally shoot a ranged attack at you. But for the time being, we should be able to just stomp over here and really, really hand it to the sky. Take that, you barbarian filth. <laughs> With kindness, of course. And then I'll keep exploring this world because we don't know everybody who's here and we don't know where they are and we don't know where the cities are. <laughs> Loads of unknowns. Also, Scott's Peak has just been revealed. Neat. Posted my backup wine. Loves a jam shed. A jam shed? <laughs> oh, how much is that wine in, um, in Welshland? Gareth, out of curiosity, because in New Zealand it's like kind of like, like it's in my price range, very uh, bottom shelf. Second from the bottom, on payday. <laughs> okay, uh, the tournament of Gareth Andrea, brilliant. Uh, so we could, so we basically have to decide between which family we'd like to bet on. Hmm. They're currently pleased. They also can let's bet let's bet on the riders with the Hittites. Let's bet on the riders. Uh, although the fight was long and tense, at the end, the favoured champion who is defeated. Neat. <laughs> okay, forming a nation as the laws of our court are read out to the people. The court themselves are engaged in celebration, merriment. A civilization's not a static being. Wah, wah, wah. Lots of philosophical discussion, and, and they're very true. Huh. Right. So, which ambition would I like to work toward now that I've completed that first one? I can choose to take five workers six farms to feed the people i could choose to send my uh empire my nation towards a scientific one such six research or i could just throw it to the wall and say no thank you i'll take some experience and try again i think the workers is probably the best idea we need workers to build farmers we've got some workers coming online we've got a free one in a few years this will encourage me to build a few more which is also a good thing let's do it have a look over at the ambition screen you can see if you complete 10 ambitions you can win the game. So we need to bear that in mind. Also a scoreboard over here that we'll need to keep a watchful eye on. 57 victory points. We'll take it. At the moment, it's fine. Uh, I should be able to complete this one fairly easily. Also get the legitimacy. So I should probably beeline production of workers from here on. And build up more legitimacy. Extra legitimacy, of course, feeds into our orders, right? So order rate, plus 20. Getting plus 10 from legitimacy. Ah, 
are some of these families, and the fact that I am the just as well, my sort of uh, picking order, if you will. Six P a bottle. Oh, okay, right. So yeah, no, it's actually, uh, <laughs> hilariously, it, it's actually cheaper for you. <laughs> uh, global economics. You gotta love it. <laughs> wow. Okay. Well, that's a bit of a kick in the teeth. I'll have to. I'll have to. I'll have to fly to the UK apparently to buy my. <laughs> Good. Neat. Okay. Um. Bounce you back and heal. Healing is the most important thing. We'll go for promotions afterwards. We are actually due a promotion here, so I'll probably do that next turn, and then we'll come down here and stomp the barbs. Yeah, love it. Let's push through. Awkwardly do a little dance around the side of the Capathian mountain range here. <laughs> and the influence mission has led to an event. Neat. And my son's given birth to another son. Okay, so by uh, influencing the courtier in a hallway palace late at night, she's proven a tough woman to track down. Beads of sweat dot her face as I pressure her into a personal alliance. Oh, God. Your attempt at persuasion goes badly. <laughs> Classic me. Hoff, oh, thank you for three months. Jeff Bezos loves it, and so do I. <laughs> thanks for the, thanks for the um the prime sub times five. But times three in a row, perhaps. You're awesome. How much is it? Uh, for me, it would be not much more. But if it's six or seven for you in pounds, it would be probably eight eight pound yeah eight pound or eight pound fifty so like 20 percent more expensive <laughs> lame uh, new zealand is a relatively expensive place to live though because we're so far away from everywhere else so we do tend to pay more for everything and of course the nature of a globalized economy means that we pay the same price by default as everyone else plus the new zealand tax um okay <laughs> wine chat aside hmm Either way, she becomes influenced. I could have her fear me. She becomes terrified. Or we could just have her become influenced. Because I have seven virtues and I'm regal. This is not the way. Or the conversation is yet salvageable. Do I want to push on? I'll push on. I'll, I'll bump all my way through it. <laughs> uh, and we've also met Babylon. Let's hold the truce but gain no opinion with them we don't care too much um fourth fourth settler online nice could head over towards the torrential range there's a city site here waiting to be established by the torrential range and get owned the lake <laughs> yeah why not let's do it i kind of consider this to be my homeland anyway so we'll take our way over there i won't force march i don't think uh this is a great city it'll stretch out to the goats and torrential range it'll grab some of get owned the lake and also that ore cool and it will grab them from all of the city sites as well no rivers but near the lake should be good enough so we'll avoid that one but probably grab one of these yeah cool and you you've done your quarry <laughs> nice uh maybe a shrine Let's do a shrine. Um, I think I like the one that gives me training, seeing as I'm a training y kind of guy. However, the plus one money adjacency bonus is kind of nice. I did not want to build it right there, though. That was a misclick. Apologies. <laughs> do I want to just leave it there? Uh, I don't think so. Uh, we will have a lot of workers online soon, though. We'll refund 50 bucks. I'll refund my 50 bucks. Oh, hold on. It's Old World. Brilliant. That was genuinely a misclick. So nice that I can get rid of that. Um, Let's move here. And place down the shrine here instead. Very good. Very good. 
Promote our warrior. Strike for the overall extra strength. Yeah, baby. And you benefit from being on hills, so... Ideally, you would be. It looks like the Egyptians could be moving in on my barbs down here. So, I'm gonna move in on them myself. No! Keep exploring the depths of the world. Uh, I don't think I can harvest this. Oh, I can. Sweet. I'll take these gems. I'll take the salt. And I'll take those sheep next turn. Thank you kindly. Let's start producing workers because we love workers. And it's my ambition to own workers. Two bucks per pound. Almost double. Yikes. Yikes. Yeah, so it's about 16 bucks. And that's right. It's about 15 bucks. Yeah. About 15 bucks. 15 or 16, depending on where you shop. Could be up to 18 if you were at a, a bougie supermarket. <laughs> oh. Ah, welcome. I see a few new people have just tuned in over the last 10 minutes or so. Maybe an extra 100 or two. Um, which is like <laughs> a huge amount. Thank you if you're just tuning in. Thank you for liking the video. We're at 62, a mere seven away from our first like target. Uh, <laughs> probably be the one that we hit today, I'd say. Plus two per year, plus two per year, or plus two per year. Hmm. It's found a rider city and connected up to the capital. Grab it a council, and then... Oh, actually, maybe we just go immediate worker here. Next to get owned the lake. <laughs> I love it. Welcome to Hoffville, Tennessee. Thanks for resubbing on Twitch, Hoff. You're awesome. <laughs> uh, choose production here. I guess it's another worker. Yeah. Yeah. All the workers. And you're going to be lying down here. And with the help of a slinger move, you should be able to... Yeah. Take it. And take it. Nice. So we'll cut off the Egyptian expansion by jumping in here, grabbing this instead. Don't think I'll be able to harvest that. And we've reached the top of the world. Okay. Over here, there is more to be harvested. Yes. I'll take these gems. I'll take this lavender. <laughs> I'll take the... The trees, apparently, and the fur. What a menace I have become. Uh, Meek Amazing, that's fine. It's in that year. So we've got one, two, three. Judaism has established legalism theology. Yikes. My wife is suffering from high fever and constantly shaking. Leaving her barely able to walk. And Prince Ben and his princess have given birth to a daughter. Oh, neat. <laughs> okay, uh, next technology. Chariot feels like feels like a, a technology that we would we would like to unlock. 12 years though. Kind of expensive, but I guess I'll jump in and grab it while I can. And as I was saying, I think we are producing maybe too many workers. I've got the free one. Uh, I need two more. So one, two. Yeah, so I am actually producing too many. Um, so maybe you want to put your worker on the back burner and um, grab me an extra warrior first. Yep. Thank you. And then this worker, I think I'll build an extra shrine maybe. Maybe one of these combat points ones. Ooh, although heals plus 6 HP for idle units. Kind of nice. Uh, experience per year though. Yeah, let's build one of these shrines. Just slam it down right there. Probably actually bad for adjacency, so I might just whip, whip, whip. And slam it down right there. Neat. Adjacency is quite important in old world. Um... 
Mm, so we've picked up one of their workers, which is always good. Do I have trapping? Yes. Hmm. I think we will send one back to the capital. Slowly. Cut some shrubs down along the way. <laughs> I love that. Um, and you'll fortify. And you will step up on this hill and see if there are any other baddies about. There are not. Uh, do I want to promote my slinger? 280? No. <laughs> Frankly, no. Not feeling it. Humankind's far better. Fear. Keep sending the scouts up north. Try and reveal as much of the map as we can. Could get a stone cutter. So these are kind of like the specialists. Um, maybe closely, closely related to Civ Five specialists, potentially. They're pretty interesting. I'd like to queue one up to have one, uh, so we can get a stone cutter in this quarry, right? So we do that. That's effectively hitting that plus button. Plus 6.2 per year. Plus 1 per year is stone cutter. From rural specialist, plus 1 science per year. Okay. Well, two turns. It's like a reasonable way to increase yields. Faster than building improvements, likely. <laughs> but we've got a lot of workers coming online. So you don't need to worry too much. Here's a haunted quarry on the outskirts of the land. Uh, plus 20% sad face gained on stone cutter. Plus 300 bucks and 40 sad faces. Or I become intrepid. I become superstitious, I should say. Losing two science. Hmm. I'll take stone cutter and we'll just leave it at that. <laughs> it's too much otherwise. Harvest those sheepies. Neat. Oh no! My wife! <laughs> uh, and my son has accused me without evidence of orchestrating the death of my wife. He charges me with plotting murder to clear a path to legitimacy for my true love, a priestess, in one of my temples. Obviously false, but it could harm my reputation. I could decry such heartless accusations. This guy. What are you doing? What are you doing? Why would you do this? I'm going to influence him. While, while this plotting nobles is happening. Oh my god, plotting nobles. Good god. Okay, back to this guy. We could decry it for plus two legitimacy. Or get plus eight orders. And I become corrupt. <laughs> um... I'll just decry them. They're heartless. And then we also have some plotting nobles. Overhearing one of our families and just some guy. <laughs> I'm certain that they're plotting against me. Neat. Uh, okay. To kill her now, then I'll have one less enemy. Grab the sword and kill her. I don't have seven sins, so I can't do that. I could have the guards seize them both and throw them in jail unjustly imprisoning them, removing two of my legitimacy, but getting rid of the threat. Or we could have a polite conversation and then slip away. That would allow them to start the plot against me. Throw them in jail! <laughs> I will have none of this. Thank you very much. No sir Bob. <laughs> um, I'm just going to go and grab a very quick coffee refill. I'll throw you onto the best Be Right Back screen in all of YouTube gaming, and I'll see you in a minute. <laughs>
Alrighty, back to the wonderful world of old. Um, <laughs> thank you for bearing with me on the break. Uh, I'm refueled and revitalized and ready to roll. What are we shy on still? It is still iron. So can I establish a very poor iron mine here? Eh, it's probably a very poor idea. Money from a hamlet though. I do kind of like the idea of that. 10 bonus if on a trade route. We've got all of the prereqs plus 20% if adjacent to Bath or Odeon uh, class improvements. Hmm. More shrines. More shrines. And I've just saved up enough for an extra promotion. Which is very cool. Um, ooh, plus 25% defense from trees. I'll take strike two, I think. This warrior is a powerhouse of a unit. Um, and I'll... Just have a quick scout around. <laughs> Here are some vandals. Eh, could squeeze in on them. Move along the Gulf of Big ATX bikes. Step away for dinner. I hope it was brilliant. <laughs> um, man, imagine it already being dinner time. I'm like between breakfast and lunch and wishing I ate breakfast. Ah, <laughs> uh, okay. Um, I think I do continue to just hoon around with the scouts. Plot out any extra land. Found a new landmark. <laughs> um, I am out of source material. So I'm going to merge you into one. Oh, actually. Name this one after me. Like the self-centered person I am. Neat. <laughs> Oh my god. Oh jeez. <laughs> we are severely ill. And that's not funny. We're 70 years old, which is f***ing good going for someone of our age. Uh, in, in this era, I mean. In this time period, I should say. Um, anyway, anyway, nigh constant vomiting and diarrhea has set us back a little bit. We are severely ill. My son's given birth to a, another daughter, neat. Prince Ben, my grandson, with the best hairdo of all time, has grown more confident and charming after dinner, apparently. <laughs> and some guy died. Okay. That's all fine. Give me the salt. No? Too far away? Okay. Find me a city. Um, these places could probably start to be building extra things. I'll go with a council and then... Uh, it's kind of a... I shouldn't need workers. I doubt I'll need militia. Maybe a warrior. Maybe a treasury I could use with upping some of these yields. I also think that in... Not this city. This city doesn't need walls, but some of the other ones might. We need a warrior up here. And Assyria is courteous of us, but they've given a trade offer. They'll trade me 8 command for 30 food. 1 order for 26 iron. Mm, I'll do the 8 command for 30 food. I got... <laughs> Actually, we're in a little bit of a food deficit at the minute. I thought we would. <laughs> I thought we were like Scrooge McDuck. But no, apparently not. Apparently we're starving. Um, lucky, we're going to have a lot of workers who will be able to fix that, hopefully very soon. Your doctors and diviner, d diviners, 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 have warned you that the end is nigh. Time to get your affairs in order. Uh, I think at, at the, it might actually, <laughs> I think when they say the end is nigh, they mean you're dead, bitch. You're dead. Uh, neat. Okay, so Hittite paganism was found in Gareth Andrea on my death. Um, 
My influence mission led to an event. Apparently it was my death. Uh, <laughs> okay, well, good news is Prince Benombi the Bold and his young three-year-old duchess sit in the court together now. <laughs> neat. Really neat. Oh, you're back too, Huck. Thank you. Uh, by the way, just a, a little uh, shout out of love uh, to all of the mods. Shout out to you, Ben. Shout out to you, Hoff. Shout out to you, Huck. Trentius. Thank you all for being here today. Uh, let's remove that plot against me. It's a little early for plots, don't you think? <laughs> uh, who are you? Should I make you my ear? Seems like a terrible idea. Um... Oh, no, 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 look, I, I'm still kicking. I'm still kicking. I'm sorry, I'm not dead yet. Great. Okay, quickly, anything I want to do? Uh, I could quickly get married. <laughs> no, there's no need to throw spanners in the works like that. Um, I could get her to tutor one of my sons. Sure. Go for it. Shoot at my son. It's my, my last affair. Ben, can, do I have anything to pass on to you, Ben? <laughs> uh, I don't think so. I don't think so. Right. We've got loads of shrines online now, which means that one crucial part of our world, religions, uh, can now be enacted. Get plus 20 bucks if we build a hamlet on these urban tiles, but as we know, I think it is food that's a, uh, just a, a slight concern. Get to this fur tile. More likely to be building camps here though, aren't I? They're really good value. They are really good value. Might build one here. And say, sorry food, camps are more important. <laughs> uh, this ultimate mega badass of a unit uh, is looking to do some fighting. Yamu has been taken by the Egypt. It's Yamu. Um, probably want to hold on to this city site, so I'll just maybe sentry my slinger down there. And then march our warrior atop this hill and fortify. And you can just hold your ground. Uh, this scout, honestly, is kind of more annoying than anything else, so I'm just going to remove that. And, oh dear, worshippers from all over the nation arrive seeking direction. It's time to adopt Judaism as our state religion. Doing so will reduce discontent in Jewish cities and improve relations with families who follow it. So I've kind of been beaten to it a little. I'm just going to say not right now. I kind of want my own. We could take our own... Uh, <laughs> I'll think about it. Ooh, you are a close tribe. Probably send the warrior up there to punch them too. Again, things to think about. Um, scouted out most of the stuff up here. I'll chop down some trees, I guess. You know, th there's some value. If I have orders left over and I don't want to turn them into money, which I kind of do, but if I didn't, I could just wander around and chop down trees all day. <laughs> Control five. Oh no, an old ambition is now a legacy. You'll have 20 years to complete it. Shoot. I must have been so close to that as an ambition. We love being here. Now crown me. <laughs> There's a new ruler in Egypt. And their opinion of me is upset. Okay. Got a lot of diplomatic relations that we could do here. Welcome. King Benombi, you did it. It was a terrible turn. I died. My mum, 
who's actually Ben's mum, not my mum, because I'm now playing as King Ben Ombi the New. <laughs> Glorious day. I've really been enjoying myself with this game. Yeah, I feel like I could probably play it for like 20 hours um, and then not play it for three months and then come back and play it for 100 hours. Uh, it's it, it's probably that kind of cyclic game for me. The Sims is the same. I love it. And I go through deep phases of it and then I'm out again. <laughs> I have no idea why. Friendly reminder to like the stream. Thank you, Huck. Marry me off. All right. You want to marry the Egyptians? <laughs> Let's see. For the time being, I'm going to get you to influence the new queen of Egypt because they are also a new queen, right? New king, new queen. You see what I'm putting down. Uh, also some interest in this minister, I've got to say. Some interest here. <laughs> We'll see how we go, Ben. See if we can find you a suitable partner. Plus three food per year. Plus ten food per year if we train a trapper here. Five years for ten food. Let's do it. The final favor. No! At the funeral of Ben's father, former King Hattusili the Intrepid, we were approached by King of Syria. I owed a debt. Oh yeah, that's right. This guy owed me like 600 bucks and I never cashed in. Huh. Wasn't able to repay it. Allow me to repay it to you instead. 540 bucks. I feel like you actually owed me $600 and I think inflation would have made that cost go up, not down. Neat. We could carry on the favor or cash it in. I'll cash it in, I guess. <laughs> uh, the Vandals have sent one of their leaders uh, towards us. They'd like a truce for the cost of one legitimacy. Hmm. Let us exchange gifts of friendship. Get some food out of them. I could use some food. <laughs> or just shun them off. We'll shun them. In the honor of Egypt. So with the death of the previous queen, the new ruler has asked that a statue of the deceased be erected in one of my cities. Um... <sighs> uh, we're not a diplomat, but I am not building the statue. Although Egypt would become endeared by us. Let's do it. <laughs> War demand. The sudden arrival of envoys from Babylonia causes in the court. They want us to fight Assyria. Um, no. No. We don't want to do that. And Ben Ombi is you and the governor. It's time for a promotion, Ben. Would you like to be Ben Ombi the warlike? <laughs> ben Ombi the cultivator. Farms and groves produce plus 50% food. Or charismatic. Hmm. Feeding the people is kind of necessary. <laughs> ben the cultivator it shall be. Uh, oh, and another event, the Harvest Festival. We bet you, Ben, Ben Ombi the New, have been invited to attend the annual Harvest Festival hosted by the Scythians. Uh, the week-long event is always memorable, brimming with feasting and fighting. Okay, uh, show your prowess. Pay money, no. Get opinion, no. Lose opinion, no. Show your prowess in battle, Ben. <laughs> And an oligarch from one of our ruling families has asked that we control four stone cutter specialists or produce 800 iron. I refuse that request because I can't really do either of those particularly well. Cultivator? Yes! <laughs> Neat. And then we'll cultivate some more farms for you, shall we? Let's have a look. This is the best spot for one. 
or on the furs, but the furs would rather be trapped. What's the adjacency bonus, I wonder? Let's have a look. Move on to the fertile. Camp, plus 20% per shrine of Halki. I could still build a shrine of Halki, and we could get the double. Okay. <laughs> Holy crap moly Okay, um, yeah, let's go for that double adjacency bonus. It's not quite the farms that I was just talking about, but it should be fine. <laughs> this worker's about to be free, so they can come down and build the shrine, and then we'll have adjacency, 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 up the wazoo! And we've completed a legacy. Control five workers. We got plus five legitimacy. Okay. Um, people are converting to my religion. My auntie. Nice. Couple of aunties. Neat. Uh, new head of the family. Okay, cool. Control eight pastures, camps, groves, or nets. Control six urban improvements. Control four odions or something else. Okay, so my next ambition, now that I've got the workers online, probably the urban improvements, right? I only need two more of those. Hopefully I can get through that relatively fast. I do want to build this first. And it is an urban improvement. So that's a win, 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 win. <laughs> Neat. I'll just double check that. Yep. Urban improvement. Hulky. And this worker, again, will just step onto an empty tile and have a look through the yields. Hmm. No, this is not a scenario. This is a this is a main this is a campaign. Uh, all the information's in the description if you're just tuning in or, or you're unsure what's going on. Um yeah, no, this is a normal this is a normal campaign. So we could win by domination. We could achieve victory through being the best and achieving our ambitions uh, as well. Or we could just go for the score victory. I mean, here are our victory conditions. Um, time, conquest, victory points, ambition. Yeah. Basically three things. Oh, you could maybe count time as a fourth variable, maybe, but not really. Um, okay, I need one more urban improvement. Where are you? <laughs> there it is. Let's get a k -k 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 cramlet down. Maybe not quite as good as humankind's cramlets, but not bad. And I guess we want to hook up all of this stuff too. Hello, the pyramids. Let's get a mine going. Really, the ore mines are the huge value. Plus two and plus 16 iron. See you later. Um, tempted a little bit by some of those wonders as well. Not going to lie. Uh, let's get some workers down to new places. And any further adjacencies to work on. Maybe a lumber mill there. And that's probably pretty good for those guys. Um, any fog to explore? Eh, yeah, actually quite a bit. <laughs> On your bike. Here I will get... Treasury, because I haven't done one of those yet. Try and get a little bit of balance across my cities, etc, etc.
Holy cow. I've successfully exerted my influence. And, and the Queen of Egypt is now influenced by none other than King Benomi the New. And my wife has given birth. Fantastic. We have child. 50% tribal. Bloodthirsty and bitter is my wife. Divorce her. <laughs> Get rid of these tribal children. Marry within the house. God, it's tempting. But no. Uh, you can tutor one of my children if you want. You can tutor that one. Good one. <laughs> Should I make the, the son my chosen heir? No. <laughs> I could. We'll see how we go. And then my queen, I guess, doesn't hurt to have her on side. Let's influence her. I could become jealous. Mm. Let's pay 200 bucks and have her influenced instead. Ooh, very charming. After a brief interaction with an 18-year-old schemer, Gasulawia, you can think of nothing else. Oh, young love. You begin taking walks together. You find yourself charmed by her sweet and clever ways. You can be my lover. I really wish I wasn't influencing her now. The old divorce move is looking tempting. But we'll see how this blossoming relationship goes. I don't want to get ahead of myself. Okay. What kind of improvements can this place get? Uh, eight food on the farms, eight iron, five granaries, fairly limited, and hamlets, all very good. Okay, let's get you a farm. City site? No. But there is a tribe nearby. Neat. Just try and squeeze in and paint out the rest of this fog. Hello, Babylon. Greece. Sorry. <laughs> How disrespectful. Um, I'll grab a settler after this warrior is done. And in light of that, maybe... I was going to say maybe we move over and fight those vandals, but it might not be necessary. Let's have a look. Uh, we're at war with them, so we could maybe stomp over and get a bit of experience. Uh, improve relations. Egypt now owes me a favor. Owes a favor to Ben. Let's do it. We're pious, so we can get these guys just to just owe us loads of favors. I love it. Um, okay, I didn't actually mean to walk that there, which is lucky, because where might be you up? I'll just redo it. Thank you. I'm going to build a hamlet here as well. Try and squeeze a little bit of extra value out of this place. Let's go fight these guys. We haven't done a lot of fighting lately. We've just discovered Bazman. <laughs> I wish I could have named that. I do sort of need to hold this place, though. Um, so maybe we... Yeah, we should promote the Slinger. 5% uh, combat. Besieging urban environments. Tough. To take extra damage or heal. I'll go for the toughness. We've got Fierce, Highlander, and Tough. Cool. And here's our newly trained warrior. Stomp that one over this way. And then pump it full of a... Tough for attack and defense strength. There you go. You're not massively promoted, but you'll do. Keep exploring. Cutting down trees as I go, just to be an absolute pest. Neat. 
abdicate the throne away from Ben at any time. You're right. Is it time for a coup? <laughs> Get my throne to the baby boy. <laughs> Throw it to the duke. Okay, we've influenced our wife, our queen consort. Uh, time to divorce her? Maybe. Thinking about this. Thinking about this very carefully. Um, so th this, this poor unit just took an absolute beating. So let's run it back to base. <laughs> uh, it'll need a general. Uh, we could actually put Ben on the fight. But he's already governing. Could put his wife on. She's kind of annoying. <laughs> there we go. Our queen. Our queen shall lead this army to glory. Oh, I love it. Settler in eight years. Go for the extra council as well, I think. And you kind of want just a, a, a one tile gap. So I might just fortify you there and we'll see what happens. These guys are waiting to steal the city site, so I need to keep my slinger there to hold it. So that the Egyptians don't just take it out from underneath me and laugh at me like the fool that I am. Um, I'll harvest all of this ore and stuff though. <laughs> Tiny little gains. Food is becoming uh, a slight issue, so I should keep building some extra farms and stuff. But I guess also chopping down trees is nice. Could sell them off. We should probably get influencing the baby boy, the Duke. Oh my god, he's not a baby anymore. Neat. <laughs> uh, bystander. One day with lessons with his tutor, my cousin. Oh god. My cousins run into this courtier, our minister. Hmm. A group of urchins chase a terrified cat along the street. What is this? <laughs> and so she said, why don't you stop them? What should we advise them to do? Attack the boys and drive them away. Distract them with a story. Right, so basically we can just give this guy a plus one to a yield. Drive them away with your f might. <laughs> Speaking of might. Yeah! Let's take down these stupid vandals. Do a swap move here. Get this warrior to... Uh, hold this city site for me so that I can get my slinger to sneak around this way. And hopefully start to deal a little bit of damage to these guys. And hopefully you can hold that. I'll promote you. Yes. Focus for the crit hits. Nice. Um, okay, so what's my ambition? I think it was... <sighs> Control 6 Urban Improvements. Hmm. I still need one more. I think we've got that Hamlet coming online already. That'll fix that, right? Two turns. Nothing being produced. Nothing being produced. It, it'll be one of my workers that's doing it, and it should only take like a year or something. So I think we're okay. <laughs> uh, adds fur from fur. Yeah. Let's um, let's get some trappers trained so that they can actually start extracting that luxury resource. A nice little uh, layer of intricacy that Old World adds, I think. And we'll get a miner here as well. Nice. Another religion has been founded. Mm. We'll, we'll reject it. 
and support our own, only our own. <laughs> Yeah, I'm just not sure how way, how far away that Hamlet is. I think it's one turn. Yeah, there we go. It was literally one turn. <laughs> Good. Okay. Plus 10 legitimacy. Egypt's fighting the Vandals. Uh, people are converting to Hittite paganism. Good. <laughs> okay. My next, my next ambition. Do I want urban expansion? Control 20. Enact four laws. Produce 800 stone, or I have something else in mind. I kind of don't really like any of these. Um, I guess I'll go for the stone. Could have gone for something else in mind, but the stone should be okay. Particularly if I can start to establish some extra quarries. Uh, near some mountains, hopefully. Yeah, like this. There we go. Get that quarry online. Uh, a few, probably a, an extra quarry up there. You have just finished building a hamlet. We might get you up this way to build some extra quarries. <laughs> Thank you. Any quarryable areas down here? Not particularly. I mean, we do have things like fish and stuff in here, though. So I'll bring a worker over this way. Neat. Uh, this should be a confirmed kill? Yeah, I think I'll stab it again here. Oh, they're too good. <laughs> nice. Sweep the vandals. Egypt have jumped onto the city site. How dare they? <laughs> We'd have to declare war to knock them off it. Um, hmm. It's an interesting conundrum. A very interesting conundrum. Do I want to do it? Game has a 200 year turn limit. Does it correspond to turns in any way? Yes, Pete. Each year is one turn. So we've got... Around maybe three or four rulers providing... Something unfortunate doesn't happen to one of them. <laughs> hmm. I think I will promote this unit. We should invest in it. Um, combat is generally good. Strike is good. Warden, siege. We'll go for strike. That general power. And keep scouting out the wonderful land of Greece, which probably looks way better than my place because I was a little slow on the workers. But hopefully we're catching up after making it one of our ambitions. Uh, do we want to buddy up with Assyria or Greece? I think we go for Assyria because we're kind of building up a thing with them. The citizens of Mika are amazing. Trust in our justice and leadership. St city leaders want to strengthen the legal system. Okay. Require mandatory jury service. We'd gain judge, no longer builder. Uh, I quite like that we're, we're a builder. We just get eight orders. Stay out of the system. Or we get plus 20% on its gains. Let's do it. And my daughter, a princess, uh, shall be a student of... Cannot marry, cannot have children. Cannot be a governor general or on the council. Just send her out as an explorer. Go on. <laughs> She's an explorer. She's a wild child, let me tell you. <laughs> oh, we just hit like target number one as well with one shy of 70 likes. <laughs> Thank you, everybody. Yeah, a neat little Twitter interaction. I thought I'd take a moment out <laughs> to just quickly reply to that one. Very cool.
in the Bye! <laughs> you can see how many orders other people have, by the way. I don't know if you've noticed, but you can see it down in the bottom. You can see it down in the bottom left. Holy cow, that was a smasher of the likes. Thank you. Um, default settings, one turn is one year. Settings you can change is one turn equals 0.5 years. Stretch it out a bit. Different game speeds. Always good. Uh, we've discovered the spoked wheel. And now we should probably get something like uh, roads we already have, but slavery versus freedom is a good law to enact. Uh, we could probably use music, drama, centralization, vassalage, capital city, 20% extra science, or writer's opinion extra and unit consumption reduced. The extra science on the capital is kind of powerful. Wisdom increases culture per city. Charisma, foreign opinion. So just in general, good for our diplomacy. It's become an aristocracy. <laughs> I love it. Right, you've finished building that hamlet. We need more stone online. We know that already. So let's get you over here and build another quarry. Uh, I wonder if you would like to help us with some sort of improvement. Plus two per year. Hmm. None of these jobs are <laughs> amazing. Festival for happiness. Council. Civics. It's repeatable and it's very strong. We'll chuck a council in and then I think get treasury as well. Neat. Here's a warrior I've prepared earlier. Let's just immediately promote them so I don't forget. Just go combat one. Um, and then we'll try and focus fire in on our little vandal friends down to the south. Let's squeeze them. It's a slightly tough stab in. Huzia, my uncle, is the General of Warrior. <laughs> what a title. Upgrade Charisma. Upgrade Rangers. As a general, as a yeah, you can just have some charisma, I think. Try and squeeze this guy back for a heal. Oh, they may have abandoned the city site. Yeah, looks like they've they've let it go neutral. Sweet. <laughs> and who said it doesn't pay to have friends? Cut some trees, just to sabotage grease a little bit. <laughs> Shop. Farmer for the extra food. Yeah, sure. And a council as well. Build up our authority, start to get some extra improvements online. This worker will be looking to build something once our new orders roll through. <laughs> Marathon mode made yours it would, wouldn't it? Yeah, a few years on council. Just chuck a couple in everywhere. It's, it, it is probably a good shout. I think it's it's just so cheap. So shockingly cheap. <laughs> Cast some nets in the sea. Start to fish up some resources. <laughs> yes! And you there. Uh, these are hills, so we might be able to mine a bit of value out of them. Mm, no real good quarry opportunities. Um, there's actually a reasonable food op here, and we do need more food still, so... Let's start farming for the people. This worker also a bit trapped. Maybe he comes back this way and builds us a farm. Yeah, go on. Mm, actually, hold on. Rip, 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 rip. Come back this way and build us a farm. There you go. Get on top of our food situation just a smidge. We could actually also do it again here with the triple threat, but maybe farms on rivers is a good idea. Might hustle you back this way. Uh, there's a 10, but I'll probably make that a lumber camp. So go on, pop a little farm out there too. Feed me, Seymour! <laughs> and another stab at these vandals. We'll try and clear out the city spot. It could be a good one for me. Maybe. Pew, pew, pew! Nearly enough to take it down with our slinger. 
Next turn. We are in. Uh, which probably means that this warrior would like to meet up with this warrior and do fun things together. So send it that way. Neat. King Alexander of Greece is dead. Oh, well. <laughs> what can you do? Uh, right, my uh, my king wants a few years of counsel, so I'll also keep that in the back of my mind. These guys are getting one more stab away at me. I'm going to have to choose between who's the superior general. Oh, God. Uh, Greek or Assyrian? Greek or Assyrian? Uh, technically, the Greek. But... <laughs> Uh, hmm. I'll endear the Assyrians and disappoint the Greeks. Get the next quarry online here. Hoffville, Tennessee. will largely be all about quarries and miners and that kind of thing. And stomp through here and destroy the Vandals. Shortly after sacking the Vandal settlement, we receive a message. From Alexander of Greece, urging caution. Your ambitions are beginning to outgrow your capacities. <laughs> Greece has no influence on foreign wars. Get out of here, Greece. You idiot. And I'm going to make this duke my chosen ear. <laughs> I've done it. It's a little costly, but I don't want my exploring duchess to be my ear. Ben has called for it to be his boy. And his boy... Is who it's gonna be. <laughs> uh, I just very quickly gonna take one more break, grab a drink, refill. I'll see you in a minute. Oh my god, he did. And he's back. Places of this game reminds me of older Civ titles. Could you expand on that a little, Ben? As in... Slow? 
Because <laughs> it could just be me. Uh, although, each turn is quite involved. Uh, particularly if you're interested, I think, in delving into uh, the stories that are being told, right? That kind of, for lack of a better word, Crusader Kings part of the game. <laughs> Really need a better way to describe that. Uh, oh, a gift exchange with the Numidians. Neat. Uh, just declare war on them straight away. <laughs> Fine. For the, le for the legitimacy. Makes up for the fact that I did some swapping around here. <laughs> Good job, boy. Oh, this, pic this boy is a community contribution. Youth picture submissions. That is so cool. That's awesome. Oh, man. Chop down your forests. <laughs> uh, it's the little things. Civ 3. Mm, mm, yep. Very little experience with Civ 3, though, personally, to be fair. Um... Uh, we're losing our religious war. However, I do have all of the shrines online, so our pressure is likely to be a lot. Um, I'm just wondering if there's anything that I haven't showed off yet. I probably haven't showed off these screens too much. Adopt state religion. Requires world religion or divine rule. Oh, God, it would be nice. God, it would be nice to have these people unbound. Hmm. I am wondering. I, we could just influence. We just go for the safe influence play. Hmm. I think so. There, there are loads of interesting interactions here, though. Hittite paganism is alive. But it really hates me. Uh, succession. Yeah, succession was an issue. But we'll... we'll We'll fix that. It'll be fine. Alternatively, we bounce out and jump into one of the other existing faiths. I don't want to do that, though, because faith is such a crucial part of the old world. It, <laughs> it's such a shame. Uh, we have other ways around it, though, I guess. Um, we've taken this place. We've taken this city site. So I should probably settle it. <laughs> Otherwise, this was all for naught. Um, we should also get a scout over here to explore properly. For the time being, I'll fortify here. The... Egyptians, the dastardly dogs, did take that one down there. So we'll grab this one and then we'll be stuck between them and Bear's man. Hey we'll promote those units. And everything's kind of trucking along pretty well. I'm broadly happy with this. A lot of time plotting and improving. Same with Civ 5. Yeah, Civ 5 vibes, definitely. I definitely feel those. I definitely feel those. Kind of also a little bit in the graphic style, maybe? Like, particularly if you look over here, uh, I can feel, I can feel that, like, warm sensation of Civilization V. <laughs> uh, that's also probably part of what, um, what appeals to me a little bit about Old World. Um, it makes sense, of course, because Soren, if you're unfamiliar, Soren Johnson was a uh, uh, lead designer, I think, on Civ 4. Pretty sure lead designer was, was Soren's role. Either way, huge civilization experience behind this game. Uh, my queen is already doing stuff. Everybody's a little busy. Promote this warrior as well. We might as well. We've got enough points. Give it a bit of uh, toughness if damaged. Sure. Loads of people ready to chuck in and lead that guy. We'll heal up this unit too. Neat. Ah, <laughs> oh, so good. Um, okay. Any other units that I actually want to waste orders on? Yeah, maybe you. There's a lot of unknown world up here. I see some peasants. 
uh, try and clear out this fog of war. Choose a production in this city, which is our main one, where Ben is governing. Hmm. Growth is okay. Everything is okay. Which is unusual. <laughs> Let's chuck in a. Uh, let's chuck in two councils and then come back and improve. Maybe extract some extra things out of those deer improvements. Could be a reasonable idea. Here we'll go. Stone cutter council. Yes. Improve our power. <laughs> you are known as Binombi. The Mason! <laughs> Not the most fearful of titles for you, Ben, but a pretty good one. Plotting and improving? Yeah. Um, send fur to Egypt. Court merchant. Send fur to Egypt. Court minister. No. Sure. We'll send, we'll send you some fur. Oh my god. Okay. Uh, restless leader, naturally. Should we assemble the caravan and ride at dawn? Or does the wise man stay at home? The wise man stays at home. Benombi is now the governor. Benombi is you and the governor, sorry, of Gareth Andrea. Uh, do we want to get an extra wisdom, extra charisma, or loads more courage? I think I'll take the extra... Point three. Uh, courage. Yes. Oh, and my uncle's too old, so we have to choose a new general to put on this army. Okay. You, the newbie. You're in. <laughs> Good luck. Uh, my my uh, queen will lead this army. Neat. Okay, let's find somebody to fight. Oh, I guess we could fight these tribes. That kind of a reasonable stab. Oh, you're out of points because I promoted you. Apologies. No point exploring without scouts, unless I just want to waste a whole load of orders. So let's just bring these units back, try and heal them up. Add a general to you. Immune to critical hits. Can't die. Let's get you in, maybe? Or you, or you. We'll see how we go. I think I'm willing to force end turn. Um, oh, actually, but first, march this unit as far as they can that way. As far as they can this way. Go up and squeeze this. The other thing that I'm shy on is settlers, so as soon as one of these councils opens up, we'll take some settlers. Uh, and I will, of course, just deforest everything around here <laughs> to be a pest, if nothing else. Uh, Settler. Costs 100 food, and I don't have it. We're about to starve. Uh, let's go... Blat. Blat. Get 200 food, and then train a Settler here. Neat. We can, of course, buy and sell things at any time up the top, which is super useful. All the expansions of elementary school for 10 bucks and put 2,000 hours into it. The best buy of your life! <laughs> the value! Oh my god! <laughs> that is amazing. Uh, ooh, I'd quite like a free chariot. However, actually the lumber mill might be more important, so let's take the lumber mill. Should I build the hanging gardens? Yeah. Let's do it. We've begun constructing the Hanging Gardens of Gareth Andrea. Neat. Um, Gareth Andrea, what would you like to do? I think we'll take another settler out of you as well. Let's go for the double expand. And then I'll be looking at some chariots. Heavy chariots. We've got some unique... We've got some uniques coming to a place near you very soon. Do need more farmers to get on top of the food. Three years. Pretty safe investment. And do we want to centralize or vassalize? Centralization. 
uh, plus twenty percent science, vassalization, minus fifty percent unit consumption, and a little bit of favor. Let's go for vassalage. And our boy, our beautiful boy. <laughs> uh, wait, it is the right one, isn't it? Yes, good. We don't like that other one who's just been born third in line. Or my exploring duchess who hates me goes out to find things. Uh, okay, we haven't had... We haven't had a politician in the family yet. Let's raise our next child to be the, the, the greatest political mastermind you've ever met. Yeah, the value on that is nuts. 10 bucks for 2,000 hours. It's $1 for 200 hours. 10 cents for 20 hours. Or 1 cent per 2 hours. That is insane. <laughs> um, oh man, I'd love the pyramids too. It's the stone that's holding me back. We do need more stone, actually. I've still got that stone mission. So let's head this way and keep building quarries up here. You probably shouldn't actually be building a settler. I might just shift a, a quarry dude ahead first. Although the new settler, new cities, new stone, it could work out. some goats here uh <laughs> really like stone from where you are what do you do what do you do pasture two growth ten food i'm gonna build a quarry over these goats sorry goats So dumb. <laughs> uh, and what I do want is the lumber camp, the lumber mill. Oh, we still don't have forestry. We're eight years away. Good God. Okay, let's find somewhere better to... Oh, we're actually well on top of food now. It is mines that we still desperately need. There's really nowhere good for mines here, though. That's just so dumb. I think I just make food instead. We'll just feed the people. Yeah, let's just feed the people. Tuck yourself over this way. Chuck a farm down. You'll be right. Uh, you might be able to mine us something kind of interesting over on these hills, though. Yeah, a plus eight. It'll probably do. So I'll do that. <laughs> Down here in Sarissa. Oh my god, we're being attacked by barbarians. <laughs> my uncle's converted to my religion. Neat. Uh, various conversions taking place. Um, back over here. And this guy, can't miss him. Big shining beam of light coming down. Um, I'll mine it. I'll mine it! We're quite a few people in our court now. I wonder if we could improve relations with any of these people. Get them to teach my children. I could make this guy an ambassador. An ambassador from Egypt. It would buddy us up with their religion quite a lot. We still need the technology for our state religion though, so that that is a bit limiting. I will influence you. There could, could be a budding religious relationship there. <laughs> Maybe. <laughs> Establish some nets on these pearls, thank you. And where are the barbs? Over here. Alright. Let's um, run some reinforcements over that way then. Lucky or unlucky for them, I happen to have quite a few <laughs> around. We'd make it, uh, we could make our queen an ambassador. Minus five foreign opinion if we do. Plus 15 religious opinion. Hmm. What about young politics student? No.
What is her religion? Who is she? What are, what are you? What are you? A warrior. A 48-year-old warrior with pretty bad stats. We'll leave you. <laughs> Thank you. <laughs> Abdicate the throne. Maybe not just yet, Ben. Leave the city. Convert religion. You convert to Hittite paganism. Yes. I have to lead my people. <laughs> and we'll just sweep right in here and probably add a general to this army. Could put King Benombi himself on, but we know that we might want to stay away from that. Unit can't die. Minus five health. Extra damage. Good. Neat. March you up on the hill. Uh, add a general to you as well. Same if adjacent. That's nice because they are kind of the same. Uh, <laughs> and we'll defend that place easily. We could also maybe try our luck against a fight uh, versus Egypt. But maybe I try and take the city first. And actually... We received a personal message from the Egyptian who thanked us for aiding their nation in a time of crisis. Great. Now we can basically get a free reward. Do we want a scholar, a merchant, a soldier, or a minister? Let's take a scholar. A scientist. There we go. So we've got a new scientist in our court. Welcome. Mm, I don't think we'll make you become a governor. I think we'll spread some discipline across everybody. Uh, and these people hate me. Release a prisoner to please a family. Minus two legitimacy. We'll do it. We'll keep them on side. And then my recent battles, as, ben, as King Ben, <laughs> have been hard thought and not without gains. Initially, there's some talk of ransoming him back to the Vandals. Treat him like we treat any other prisoner for plus one wisdom. Or make him a soldier. Let's make him a soldier. Why not? Welcome to the court, my dude. You can teach someone stuff. Why don't you teach... Oh, no, you can't. <laughs> Why don't you teach one of my... What if my children to be a better warrior? Interesting. I like the fact that we've got this scientist on. Three wisdom into the court. A nice little benefit, right? <laughs> I figure anyway. Mm. No, the king of Assyria's cocked it. That means that we must be getting old. My wife is no longer ill. Someone converted to Judaism. And, ooh, one of our families converted to Hittite paganism. Going from upset to angry. Queen Consort is in love with King Ben. All cities get sad. A rumor has it that my royal consort is a witch. <laughs> oh, dear. She's bloodthirsty and bitter. <sighs> well, you know how we treat witches. I guess that means I have to burn her. What else could we do? All cities plus 20 unhappiness. All cities plus 20, but they gain opinion. If I uh, just say, you know what? It's just, it's part of her tribal thing. It's part of what they do. Or burn her at the stake. Now, if we have a look at her, we can see she's bloodthirsty and bitter. She's a general. Uh, her traits aren't amazing, but she is currently influenced by me. What do you reckon? Anybody? Burn her at the stake? District system of six? Yeah. Yeah. Agree. I think we bit her at the stake. <laughs> Sorry, love. I'm sorry. 
Oh, okay, so we've waged war as a result with that family. They're naturally not very happy. Uh, the good news is, though, <laughs> Ben is now a man about town. Should we form a, a foreign marriage or a familial marriage? Hmm. Something to think about. <laughs> How's my son doing? What a what a lad. Okay. My wife died in the battlefield. Well, did she? Uh, <laughs> uh, the Egyptian queen is dead, and they now have a new king. There's been a raid at Mika's Amazing. Ben has a new event. Our daughter's a zealot. My brother-in-law has died and people are converting to Judaism. It's a lot. What's going on here? Someone in your court has been sharing information with the Greeks. <sighs> oh dear, and it's the bloody Egyptian. In prison. A fugitive. Or forgive the mistake. You're a fugitive. Get out of here. Run while you can. <laughs> or I'll imprison you, apparently. <laughs> Need to get you back to base, ideally. Um... Also, a mission. Feels weird to, uh, a general. Feels weird to put a scientist on. Put you on instead. I think we stopped these barbs pretty easily, but I'll bring over some reinforcements just to be safe, because actually, this guy took a... Freaking beating. Bounce you back in there. Add a scientist general. Maybe not this time. Promote this unit. Let's give it... Just combat one, I guess. Yep. There you go. Okay, so we probably do need the reinforcements there. Heal the slinger while it holds the city site for me, and we'll get a someone to clear it out soon. <laughs> the scout will keep chopping. God, it's like the pollution challenge all over again. <laughs> for that guy, anyway. Here I'll go council, council, council. Neat. And a new king of Egypt. Welcome, I am King Benombi the Able. <laughs> uh, our son and future heir, Prince Mursili. Hmm, could become bold, vigilant, or robust. Robust for the extra orders. <laughs> and as iron sharpens iron... Hmm. Plus one discipline. Or they become influenced. Who are you? Just some male. I'll take. Uh, we'll, we'll go for the plus one discipline in that case. <laughs> yeah. Yep. Happy with that. All right, you robust politics student. I have no interactions with you at the moment, but when I do, my god. <laughs> my god. We're going to have a field day. Right, Pete? He should be happy. Should be happy he wasn't freaking burnt at the stake, I agree, because it was tempting. So, no longer exploring, she could become blessed. She'd get 80 science and stop exploring. Or she could continue to explore. Um, she could become blessed. Why not? And then, what will I do with you, second in line to the throne? Minus 100, naturally. Uh, <laughs> Could marry her within the family. Could marry her to a courtier. We'll hold off on that for now. 
I'll just influence my guy. Get him so he's my be absolute best friend. <laughs> um, and then future improvements. We're looking good for most yields. It is probably still stone that kind is kind of holding me back a bit here. The lumber mill. My god, I want this lumber mill. farm would only take three more years so I could get one of these done and get back here probably yeah okay let's go and bounce this way grab another farm good one and more quarry more stone more love heal this unit Heal this unit. And bring in these guys for a reinforced chop against the barbarians. Try and hold the city. Stop them from taking it, ideally. And you can go on sentry mode. Thank you, chief. Heal you as well. March through the never-ending forest. Ah, chop down some trees as I go. Sweet. <laughs> <laughs> ah, should we get a stone cutter? Yes. Get him online. Get these quarries producing as much stone as humanly possible. And if I can get these barbarians away, I'll consider myself pretty well set up. I think the only downside to this campaign has been a uh, kind of weak start on the religion. I'm going to have to address that one way or another. <laughs> I don't want to fight the Greeks, so I'll just pay them off. And now I can choose between becoming a righteous governor or an affable governor. Plus two growth per culture level. Minus two happiness. But I do become righteous. Does that actually yield me? Kind of just an opinion thing. I guess I'll become affable then. <laughs> more spots for more quarries as our cities expand. Always good. And my actual first priority is going to be this fight. Because I need to get this tidied uh, pretty quick smart. So march this unit here. Might be able to just flail those swords pathetically. Neat. And then really squeeze them out here. Oh, so close. They're like a slither of a hell. But we won't lose a unit in the process, so we're all good. Um, this is kind of my Egyptian defense force slash expansion force to take the city site. About to say city state. Too, too much Civ 5, Civ 6 chat. <laughs> keep pillaging this land. Neat. Oh my god, the stab. Okay, so they're picking all my scouts while I'm out here pillaging their land, which makes sense. I would do the same. Uh, let's tidy up Quarryville. Or I think it's actually Hoffville. Here it is. Who wants to get the final blow? Who can of you? Do it, chief. Yeah. <laughs> Barbarians destroyed. Push back against those vandals as well soon. Heal and promote wherever we can. And we've got a pretty strong army, I'd say. A pretty strong army. Uh, and that will, as it goes past, just past 12pm for me, uh, be time to wrap up the stream. Thank you very much for joining me for an early access look at the Old World uh, uh, Steam release. Um, as I said earlier, this did come out a year ago on Epic. So... 
uh, it, it's not a new thing necessarily, but it has changed a lot over the year as well, I think. Loads of development has gone into it. Um, and the Heroes of the Aegean DLC, of course, releases at the same time. Uh, and it's free for the first two weeks. So if you're interested in Old World, if you already have it, it's important to note that this DLC will be free. So you'll be able to play as the Hittites and do the scenario packs for free um, within the first two weeks. Just an FYI. Not This isn't sponsored or anything in any way. Um, but just useful to know. And then also, if you are picking up Old World on Steam, likewise, free for the first two weeks. Heroes of the Aegean DLC, that is. So a nice little way, a little bonus. Uh, I think Old World's pretty cool. You'll probably see a couple more videos on it uh, from me over the next few days um, because I do think it's a pretty good, it's a very unique historical strategy game. It's not perfect, but I have a great time with it and it scratches a couple of different itches in a very unique way. Uh, anyway, thanks so much for joining me. I want to give a huge mad f***ing lad of a shout out to uh, Ben Ombi, to Gareth, to Mika, to Scott. Thank you for your super chats. Uh, Bike, Hoff, Krieger, thanks for subscribing on Twitch as well. I appreciate you Twitchers over there too. I'm watching you. <laughs> um, and I will see you likely tomorrow for uh, another stream. I'm unsure what it will be. Yet. Maybe some old world. We might continue with this. If you'd like to see me continue, sing out. Otherwise, I'll catch you tomorrow. Have a great rest of your day, everybody. Take care.